flash your lights, baby. Flash your lights everywhere. Niggas was saying shit about me, they didn't even fucking know me. This is my school. This is what I was doing with what nobody looked. Y'all don't know what goes on in practice or the locker room. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! Wow, lots of energy, guys. Yeah, you need it. I'm just, I'm faking it. I'm trying to hold on long weekend. You was in Vegas, too? You know, here. Oh, no, you was in AZ. Vegas, Vegas AZ, AZ, back yeah. to LA. Yeah, you know, quick. Had to go see what these bags were looking like. Mm -hmm. My bad. She just got in. Yeah. Oh, you just got in today? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Fresh off that bird. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> 8 a.m. I got here. Did you drive? No, flip. What that airport look like? It wasn't that bad. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, I think I got there like right before it got crazy. What you fly on? Southwest. Already. You already know. Yeah. Wait, you left this seat. morning and got here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, not last night. Okay. No. 6:55. That, that Southwest oh, first you know, class. I up last night. I had a JSX. <laughs> I tried to. JSX. Like, yeah, everybody left last night. I mean, I'm pretty sure that traffic was killer. Come last back. night. Yeah, Coming from crazy. Vegas here driving? It was a mistake to leave after the game. Yeah. Might as well wait till 6 in the morning. Good game. Sorry for Niners fans. It's hard out here. I need to give me a football team, man. That should be looking fun. You got two here. Come huh? for the Raiders, Gil. You got two teams no in the city. LA, I mean, if it was LA Raiders, I'd have been. Well, you got two teams in LA. Pick got the Rams and the Chargers. We only, we only acknowledge the Chargers Rams. Chargers is... Yes, the Los Angeles Chargers. Now. We don't... Los we, Angeles Chargers. No disrespect yes. to, to all my Chargers yes, friends. Los but, Angeles Chargers. Which one's the San Diego team? That's, that's they the, don't have any. That's the Chargers. They used to be the Chargers. They moved oh, here. Oh, no, they ain't hip to football. No. Yeah, they moved here. That's the Rams, team. then. Okay. That's, that'll do. City Rams is Anaheim? No. Well, they, oh, man. Well, they here, though. Okay. They the one built the stadium. Crunkin' them built the okay, stadium. I'm the L.A. Rams now. I'm an L.A. Rams fan. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. Gil is officially yeah. an L.A. Rams fan. Yeah. <laughs> got a good quarterback. Ooh. Smoke? Ooh. No, that's <laughs> smoke for the Rams. I don't know. Dallas Are they Native. good? Dallas you. <laughs> you? Nope. See? Guess not. <laughs> nope. No smoke. Yeah, what's wrong with smoke machine? <laughs> a lot of injuries this year. <laughs> yeah, a lot Didn't of injuries this year. Didn't they just win the Super Bowl? Like a couple years ago? ago. A couple years ago. Serious? Yeah. A couple years back. Oh, wow. Drain Snoop. Yeah, I'm, see? Going into a dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> but this no, is Gil's Arena. dynasty is in Kansas City. <laughs> this is yeah. Gil's Arena. So they're a dynasty now? We got three Super Bowls. Hell yeah. They all... That is a dynasty. Listen, I'm going to go out on the limb and say he's going to win more than Tom Brady. He's going to pass Brady seven? He's, yes. Absolutely. Tom Brady has seven? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Getting it. Yeah. With, like, huge okay, breaks in between. That's my thing. The Patriots. We're going to talk he's about it in a get more. Trust me. He, he young as shit. Smoking the and Joe Burrow. Taylor Swift now, so. <laughs> but this is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. As always, we got the legend Gilbert Arenas here with us. What's up? What's up, Gil? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> saw you, saw you, Eddie, for about 27 minutes. <laughs> we, <Okay>. got, <laughs> <laughs> we got Lexi Brown back here with us on the couch. Hey. It's Beanie Day, apparently. Mm -hmm. yeah, on this side. It's no, it's all. Yeah, we didn't get our hair done. I definitely, yeah, we, yeah, we definitely <laughs> didn't. My, yeah, we, we just shout out JC. JC was here ready to cut some hair, but we were not on time. And we got Kenya Martin representing the hat wearing side of the couch. <laughs> was that? But we got a, a lot to get into. So here's what's cracking in the arena today. The big game was this weekend, so we got to talk about some of the biggest moments during the game, and in the halftime show. Uh, Swiss Beats. We thinking about you. Uh, Steph is one of the most clutch players in the league and added another game winner to his highlight reel. But how far can 30 take this Warrior squad? And Pat Bev said Daryl Morey pump faked him before his trade to the Bucks. Wonder how James Harden is feeling about all that. But before we get into all that, as always, the show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, download the app. Use promo code GILL. They will match your first deposit up to $100. Then pickums was pick in last night, you know. Into my street, got some bread finally. Shout out Underdog Fantasy. Shout out Christian McCaffrey, got me my 72 rush yards in the L. God is good. <laughs> and we do mostly fans at the end of every show. 
If you drop a good question in the chat with your underdog fantasy username, we use it on the show. We'll give you a $50 bonus. You send us a video to mostyfansgill at gmail.com. Keep it under 30 seconds. We will give you a $100 bonus to your underdog fantasy account. Remember, it don't just need to be basketball questions. You can ask us about any and everything. Just keep it classy. And if you can't watch the show live with us on YouTube, we've got audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. So, Sunday, all eyes were on the football world in the big game. Star-studded affair. Taylor Swift pulled up. Ice Spice was there. I don't know how into the game she was, but hey, Taylor Swift say pull up to the suite. I'm coming with you. Uh, Braun made an appearance. I think Westbrook was out there. Uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce, to name a few. Chiefs got the win, their second straight chip, and uh, Pat Mahomes joined some elite company, winning his third title in seven seasons and joining Brady and Joe Montana as the only players in NFL history with three or more Super Bowl MVPs. Mm. So, in my mind, at least, Brady's still the undisputed GOAT with seven Super Bowl rings during his career, but Kenyon, we'll start with you first. Does Mahomes belong in the conversation amongst the greatest QBs in NFL history? He's, he's trending that way. Yeah, it's still early for him, but just in big moments and big games, like, he shows up. Yeah. He's only lost to one guy in the big game, and that guy ain't playing no more. So, <laughs> I, I really don't, like, if he stays there, him and Travis, they get a few more weapons and might bring Eddie, uh, Eric B. Enemy back as the OC. He, he, he was getting his Doc Rivers consult on, I think, after, <laughs> after the, the commanders booted him, so. Yeah, like, nah, he, yeah, yeah. I don't, wouldn't put him in Brady yet, but I think he, yeah, I mean, just based trajectory where his yeah. career is at seven seasons in, obviously seven more Super Bowls, that's a... And six stars. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a lofty task to get, what, he needs five more to pass Brady, four more to time. That's, listen, in this era, he's the best quarterback playing, so I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. Like, really, I, would, I really wouldn't be surprised because he's going to play his whole career there. Mm-hmm. It's going to be the same thing. They're going to keep building around him. They, got, they know what they have. Just keep building around it. Could keep, uh, keep putting pieces around him. Yeah. Um, tongue twister. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Losing Tyreek Hill, you know, the, the receiving core, not necessarily all that. Obviously, Kelsey is Kelsey, but. Yeah, they can get that better. Yeah, yeah, they, they get them. They had the league in drops. They had like 44 drops or something. Yeah. Wasn't there like a time in the season where people were like off Kansas City? Like, yeah. 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 The Taylor got there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were so, like 10 and 3 so with people, Taylor. No, so people was writing them off because they never had to go on the road in the playoffs, right? Uh-huh. They always had home field. So people was writing them off this year because they had to go to Buffalo and win. They had to go to Baltimore and win. So it was mm-hmm. like they were like, oh, this is this them, is the though. time like for everybody to get them. And they went to Buffalo, put foot to ass. <laughs> went, to Buff- <laughs> went, to, went to Baltimore, put foot to ass again. Yeah. Shout out Pat Mahomes Sr. You know, he was, he was dealing with some issues, but pulled up to the game. Hopefully he got that Uber <laughs> back to the crib. I mean, he, he got to double down. <laughs> Man, you got, I mean, you won. You got to get drunk now. You got to get pulled over. You can turn over. up, Gilbert. You get got over, to get bro. pulled over. Get in the Uber. <laughs> My baby boy. He got pulled over before the Super Bowl. Uh, like I'm, hey, listen, I'm celebrating before, before I talking about the script. <laughs> yeah, the script was scripting. Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey. Oh, generational. Hove had them S dots on at the game. Real. I know, right? Hey, Todd, Reebok, hey. I let your boy. We got two, they, two they Reebok still, plugs here on the couch. They still got hey. those in <laughs> Lexi. <laughs> you know, Lexi damn well his is coming from his closet. No, them, from t- no, them was brand, brand spanking. He ain't had them for 20 years. You don't think so? I don't think he had them. Not, not new out the box like that. Oh, he pretty bitch was clean white. Oh, yeah. He could have. <laughs> He just he probably just like you. A <laughs> man, I ain't got none of mine. I got a few pair, but not. Uh, I need some originals. White so he been pulling shit out from '05. <laughs> like, like shit. I, mean, I got some shit in the collection, but you know I'm gonna I'm keep it classic. But I need them as dots, though. I found so I dug. Um, I dug out my Gucci ones that look just like them. Uh huh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but they ain't the same. <laughs> not the same. So we got to talk about Usher's halftime show, uh, but more specifically, a moment that had the internet buzzing. Ooh, that skating? <laughs> Not that skating, Gil. Uh, during the performance, Usher was oh hugged all up bro. on Alicia Keys, who, uh, as you may know, is married to Swiss Beats. Obviously, it was just a part of the performance, but a little too much Kiki. So, Lexi, uh, was Usher out of pocket 
for hugging up on Alicia Keys like that in a Super Bowl halftime show. Oh no, all part of the performance. But he's been doing this at all his shows. Like, but we expected nothing less for him to be extra like that. Like, and they were singing my boo. They had to. They had to do it. But that's not his boo. <laughs> <laughs> that's somebody else's boo. That's someone else's boo. But what'd you think about the the halftime performance in general? Oh, I loved it. The roller skating. I really thinking. wish he like sang more of his like like longer in his songs. He likes saying like 20 seconds of each song. Yeah. He was moving. Too many hits. <laughs> <laughs> he was moving. <laughs> Wait a minute. Like, there's just a lot going on, but it was fun. We were at a watch party and like the first half of the game was a little boring, but when Usher came out, like the whole vibes of the party changed and then the game got a little bit more exciting after that, but we was lit. We was lit. Up. We got, a, we got a question from the audience. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> it's gonna be some, don't. some, some confessions. <laughs> no, I mean, man, come, I mean, that man is listen, dog. Swiss beats ain't worried about Usher, man. Like that man ain't concerned. <laughs> performance, it, it ain't no all these insecure ass people out here, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's. Okay, we gotta run these numbers up, all right? No, I'm talking about just insecure, yeah. like, dude, hey, I'm reading shit early, like, everybody got something, like, dude, it ain't that serious. It's not that deep. It's it, a, it's they are performers performance. performing. Like, yeah, if you would threw her down and try to take up hands, or like, but that, n none of that occurred. Like, the dude, dude yeah. they doing a performance, man. I'm, I'm, pretty like I'm pretty sure they went through rehearsal a hundred times, and yeah. I mean, if Swiss Beats knows anything about YouTube, I'm pretty sure he Googled, you know, um, Usher's taste in, in uh, women. And his performances. <clears throat> and if he uh, Googled any of those women's facial features, I'm pretty sure he wasn't. I'm pretty sure he wasn't um, worried. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because Alicia Keys is way above what he looks for in <laughs> uh, the female's audience. This is Gil's Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy, as always. Underdog Fantasy. No, I'm just saying, Gil's I mean, well, on this show. <laughs> well, well put, Gil. I'm just saying, after, after Chili, I mean, it got a little rough. <laughs> uh, I mean, you... <laughs> I mean, Usher wasn't performing to the standards of his name. Let's just say that. I mean, he was, he had regulars. So we've all seen a ton of uh, Super Bowl halftime shows. What's your favorite one that you've seen? Shit. Mm. Hell, I don't know. I didn't watch a lot of Super Bowls. I really don't. I couldn't. I'm going to go with this last one, Usher. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I liked Rihanna last year. She did her thing. I liked her a lot. I also remember Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson when I was yeah. a child. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we all remember that. Yeah, yeah. but that I was, was real young when that happened. Uh, I was like, you know. Really? That was yes. 20 years ago? Long, yeah, long, not, long, long, long nine. time ago. We, we were just a little bit older than you <laughs> at, at that point. But I think Dre and Snoop in L.A., uh, seeing people crib walking. Oh, yeah, that was dope, too. Yeah. yeah in the NFL arena. Was I love Super Bowl halftime. Personal favorite. I think the only thing I've ever seen from a Super Bowl was, what's up? <laughs> that, that's Super Bowl, right? Commercial. That's it. <laughs> it was some good that's ones it, yesterday. That's it. I've never Yo. seen a Super Bowl halftime commercial during a Super Bowl. It was some good ones yesterday. Did you see Beyonce's commercial? Yes. Beyonce yeah. was talking, she was acting, she yeah. was falling on the ground. Yeah, she was trying to break the internet yet. She was trying to break the internet. Yes, yeah, the, the, and she did, because Beyonce don't talk to us. The Dunkin' Donut, is that, that was, yeah. That yeah, was, that was, was that a Super Bowl commercial? Yeah, it was a commercial. Yeah, the, was the Ben Affleck one? Yeah, 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 yeah that, that was, was that Super Bowl. 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 Oh, see, I just watched that online. I oh, the funniest shit with the Arnold Schwarzenegger joint. Oh, that shit was hilarious. He can't say neighbor? Uh-huh. Oh, dog, that shit. Oh, listen, man. He can't, oh no, that shit was so yeah, I funny. Didn't see that one. You didn't see it? Mm -mm. Oh, you gotta look it up. Because yeah. they've been advertising it like the stay farm, like the movie coming soon. Oh, little dog. He was doing the stay farm joint and they couldn't say it. Oh, he just had different people trying to get him to say it. Mm -hmm. Oh, listen, man. <laughs> Seven million dollars a pop for a Super Bowl. They had a lot yeah, I've never, that's what I've never yeah, seen. Danny DeVito came in at the end because they the twins thing and he said it for him. He said, that's what I said. He said, no neighbor. <laughs> like, they had a lot of like A-list celebrities. I've never seen, maybe I wasn't paying attention, but there was like a lot of A-list celebrities in all the For sure. commercials. Seven million just to get oh, the spot. In the, oh, in the commercial? No. Yeah, you, it was I, like everybody. Like, it was crazy. But yeah, that Beyonce Verizon one was year, my huh? fave. We, we had a Gills Arena promo on Tubi that you guys made. Has James Brown ever did the uh, Super Bowl? Probably not. No, probably not. No. <laughs>
probably. I don't, I don't think. I don't think he's ever happened. going to either. Seriously, not me. Obviously, I'm just so nobody like him. Prince. Prince. Prince had one of the greatest performances of all time. Michael ja Michael the artist Jackson formula. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson at the Rose Bowl back in the. Whitney Houston. Did Whitney do? She did national anthem. Was that at a Super she Bowl? Did, she did the national anthem. Best national anthem ever. I was about to say R. Kelly, but I'm pretty sure. No. Yeah, that. I don't Because he would have got in trouble before. No. Yeah, the that's, answer to that is no. Yeah. So, but no, even be, yeah, yeah, that's what I said before. Yeah. Even, I wish all that stuff. I wish. He was paying on children then. Way back. Okay. Yeah. And. Yeah, yeah. He was, piss, yeah, he was <laughs> pissing right. on people back then. He never so. got it. So, he never got there. Okay. Let's discuss no. a, a big moment in the game after the Chiefs fumbled on a play. Drake would be a good one. Mm. Mm, no. I don't know. Yeah, he got a lot of, yeah. Weekend, I mean. Weekend's already won. Weekend, weekend, weekend might. Did it. Yeah. Weekend did it before Drake? Hey, they lucky they got the whole show out of him because he's notorious for stopping that motherfucker 20 minutes in being like, ah. Wait, yeah. is that the one he got? It was like mirrors and stuff? Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, was that real? He fucked himself up trying to get out? No, nah, I think it was a part of the, the, oh. the performance. <laughs> but the internet had a field day with it. Okay. Uh, meme still in heavy rotation. But let's discuss the big moment in the game after the Chiefs fumbled on a play that Travis Kelsey was not in the game for. Uh, Kelsey was very, very animated on the sideline. Oh, my God. Bump Chiefs head coach Andy Reid got all up in his grill uh, to force his displeasure with being sidelined in that moment. Kane, that's your Cincinnati Bearcat brethren. Yeah. Are people making a bigger deal out of this than it needs to be, or would other players be allowed to show the same emotion? In this game, if you who you that is to your team and knowing all circumstances, yeah, he's wrong for bumping his coach. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't his intention to bump him. He was emotional. Um, in that game, up to that point, he had one, one catch for one yard. They fumble here and in the game. Like, so it's just, yeah, his frustration got over to, to the got the better of him um, in that moment. But Andy Reid knew what he had. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't, and I don't think, like I said, if it's a big name player and you mean what that what he means to his team, I don't, whoever it is. Yeah. Like people trying to make it out about race. Like, yeah. because you're like, no. He's, he's, a, he's a hell of a football player, right? <clears throat> you know what That's what they're trying to make it out to be. Like. If it was a black player, then he would have got kicked out of the game, and I was like, no. Who would have kicked him out? The coach? Yeah, that's what they saying. Like that's what some. Yeah. That's what I read. Um, it really just depends if you're a good or a bad player. I feel like. Yeah, if you if, if you that lucky, if you're the fifty third guy <laughs> and you run and you <laughs> walk up on Andy Reid fucking okay. yelling at him. That. If you play special teams. So they are saying if Patrick Mahomes did the same thing, he gonna kick him out? No, no, okay, no. I was just like, checking. Other receivers, <laughs> other other. You already know how people feel about Patrick. Mahomes. Yeah, they named other guys like. Or like Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, A.J. Brown. Like they, like if Lamar Jackson did that to his coach in the Super Bowl, they would have kicked him out. That's what they would have they they made a they bigger like deal about it. They saying. Yeah, not a chance. If they lost, they would have tried to make this a point. Yeah. Right? You, you and your, that's them and that's their relationship. Mm -hmm. However their relationship is, is none of our business. We can say what we want, but I guarantee you, any of you coaches would have been bumped by any of your players in the Super Bowl the last game of the season, and you kicked him out, and y'all lost, you fired. Thanks. There's time to prove points, and there's time to win games. Yeah. Right? He got bumped. <laughs> Coach Janine, <Anime. laughs> watch out. So, uh, like, <laughs> Antonio Brown, uh, he said, like, yeah, like, we ain't got to, why we got to, nobody got to kick you out, you going to do that yourself. <laughs> so, have you ever been? <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> <laughs> Still one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life on yes. the ball field. <laughs> in, in sports. That motherfucker would have been there. Bro. Turn my thing on. Uh, turn, he'd have been out there fucking uh, himself. I was laughing. <laughs> C-T-E-S-P-N. Oh, oh, yeah. His Twitter is hilarious. Y'all follow him on Twitter? I uh, do. I don't, yeah. but he always appears. You see it no matter if you follow him or not. The, like, the way, like, the spacing. He, like, writes, like, haiku poems, like... The way he just tweets out, it's like not even what he says, it's like how he <laughs> types it out. That makes it even Very funnier. impactful on and off the field. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been that upset with a coach and handled, how did you handle this situation? Yeah. I mean, if you're trying to win games and shit happens in the moment, yeah, you get heated. You know, I've, I've thrown clipboards, right, you know. At, at the coach, in the vicinity, or? No, no just throw the, trying to pick it up, trying to run a play, throw that shit down, throw that shit you know, out of there, take the pen, keep drawing this stupid ass play. <laughs> <laughs> what happened after that? <laughs> Nothing. 
What do we try to win? Like, that, like same thing when coaches get mad, right? Mm -hmm. Coach get mad and do one of these and hit you in the shoulder or kick something, throw the thing and it hit you. Nobody takes offense. Yeah. Right? Motherfucker might say, ow, God, yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> But it's, it ain't something where, uh, that's what I said, only, only media tries, only media and outside entities try to paint it a picture for negativity. Mm -hmm. Like, it's emotions, things happen, right? We've been around, like, things in practice, we say stuff, they say stuff, right? So it ain't, no one takes offense to it. Just like Andy Reid, it's not like, it, what do you do? Nothing, right? Just keep on. Yeah. Come on, that's... You didn't even flinch. It's like, okay, Travis, I got it. Go in. And yeah, go in. Second half. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, have you ever had to get in a coach's shit like that during the game? Halftime, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, mine public, I, uh, I tried to beat George. I was going to beat George up in them. <laughs> 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 oh, no, I got suspended in the playoffs. We played the Clippers. Like the, like the final three games, yeah, mm -hmm. I played the first two games, and yeah, I got spinning for the rest of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. nah, I never went that far. Oh, no, I, no, I was trying, yeah, it was. And I'm... Is that the I only coach? Say, yeah. Okay, then that says a lot. Yeah. Like, I can, <laughs> I can honestly say, if Latrell Sprewell never had choked P.J. Carlissimo, mm -hmm. and I knew the result, and I knew, like, my track record and all mm -hmm. that, I would have beat George up, though. I'm, I'm dead ass serious. Mm. Oh, but I knew in the back of my mind my career was over. Oh, so he was right. He's one of those. In like, like my career was over had I did like. No, I got into like so you know in halftime of old Stapleton, but crypto mm -hmm. where the coaches meet at in the hallway. Then they come. Yeah. So we all went in the locker room. I wait till they was in their meeting in the hallway, and I went right in between them. And assistant coaches backed up. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, they like, didn't grab me, didn't touch me. Like, they moved back. And I was right in his face. You motherfucker, I'll kick your goddamn ass, you fat mother. I was listening, dog. <laughs> I said, you lucky. I was crying, dog. I wanted him, man. <laughs> I said, you, I, you lucky. Like, I told you fucking lucky, dog. I went back in the locker room, nigga, and told them niggas on the team, all oh, you motherfucking selfish, y'all ain't gonna win shit. And any of you niggas feel away, say something. Mm. Nigga, I, it was crickets in that bitch. Like, <laughs> whistling Dixie, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, I turned my chair around a lot. Nigga, I called my assistant at the time. They said, man, you got a car here? Nigga, I was leaving at halftime, dog. Damn. I was, Do you remember what, what, what set you off in that moment? You know, I was going through knee problems, and me and the, the dude talked leading up to the playoffs. I'm going to sit out a few games, and I'm going to get ready for the playoffs. I ain't never not starting the playoff game. Mm -hmm. Go to you. Well, I'm going to start Francisco. In the playoffs? Okay, I want to reward him for playing well down the stretch. I don't give a fuck how well he played. <laughs> game one, we lose. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many minutes I play. I play decent minutes, game one, whatever. Game two, I go to him. Hey, man, like I'm ready to, we lost game one. You started this, let, like let's get back to it. Uh, I'm going to start Francisco again. Now you fucking with me. Mm -hmm. Game start. Put me in with like four minutes to go in the first. Took me out with like nine to go in the second. Se Ooh. Seven game minutes. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking I'm going back in. Time. And he called Buck, Greg Buck, uh -huh. to go get Eddie Nara. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie playing, the, Eddie a four. So now I'm, now my mind going. I sit up on the edge of the seat, like I'm, you know, you look down and, uh -huh. you know, I always sit in the last chair. Yeah. So I'm. <laughs> you see me, you. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm. So now I'm, I'm steaming now. Like, if you could have had the illustration, like the old cartoon, uh -huh. beat red face, <laughs> steam coming out your ears and your nose, that would have been me in that moment. Ooh. Damn. That, yeah. It's winding down, five, four, three, I'm up. <laughs> To the locker room. I'm the first in the locker room. <laughs> I wait till they do they. I go right out there. Listen, Jack. Oh, not cuz George. I listen, dude. Man, he came in the locker room one day. We played Utah. I mean, we played Cleveland. Danielle Marshall had a tip to win the game, but he missed. I had 17. Re Marcus Campbell didn't play that game. You know, he lead top two, three round or two rebounders in the league at the mm -hmm. time, but he didn't play. I had 17 rebounds that night. <laughs> A huge double-double. Mm -hmm. 
He come in the motherfucking game talking about in the locker room after the, we ain't men, we don't rebound the ball, we ain't tough, this, that, and the third. Man, who the f you think you talking to, man? <laughs> right? So we go to practice the next day. He come try to talk to me, man. I ain't got nothing to say to you. Get the out of my face, dog. GM in there, I'm over there. I stand up, I go talk to Kiki. He come over there, try to talk to me again. I said, didn't you hear what the fuck I just told you, dog? Go talk to Mark, because he the only one fucking rebound. Because after he said the shit, mm -hmm. we ain't men, we ain't tough, we ain't rebound. He looked at MC and said, when you coming back, big fella? Ooh. Oh, shit. Disrespectful. And I said, Eddie, you should be pissed too, because he take because Eddie had like 11. Mm. So you should be pissed too. Like, dude, I would, man, new, listen, I would. Yeah. No. So, so when they suspended me in the playoffs, and I went in the locker room, nigga, I took my name tag down, I cleaned my locker out. Wow. But I, I was trying to get out of that. So I walked in right after the exit meeting, right? Everybody in the team exit meeting. Mm -hmm. Then nobody tell me the time. I was just going to the gym to clean my shit out. I walk in, nigga, and everybody like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, they was waiting on me. To, I didn't say nothing to nobody. When that nigga took my shit down, nigga, took, put all that shit in that black trash bag, nigga, mm -hmm. took, throw all that shit uh -huh. away. Nigga, I took my personal stuff, my pictures of my kids. Out of there. And had to go back. The next year. <laughs> <laughs> had to put it right back there. Yeah. Like I said, I had to go back. <laughs> yeah, but me and him had to sit down. Now they wanted us to sit down and have a <laughs> powwow right before the season. So I told him straight up, dude, hey, you coach your team. You don't say shit to me. <laughs> I'm going to do my job. Nigga, you don't. I, <laughs> and I went back. <laughs> Lexi, you ever had a situation? Hell no. Okay, yeah. Nothing. Me and my coaches, sometimes we would get into it in practice or something over something stupid, but. I did a lot of that oh. shit in my head, you know, yeah, what I would have done. Yeah, crazy, though. But. Oh, me and Hugs is on ESPN. We playing Xavier my senior year in college. Mm -hmm. Me and Hugs like this, and he on ESPN. Oof. He yelling at me for not going to get the ball because we got three freshmen mm -hmm. that he playing and they can't get the ball up the floor. So he yelling at me to go get the ball. You need to go get it. I said, man, I didn't recruit these motherfuckers that can't dribble. <laughs> man, shut up and put me back in the game, man. He walked off, looked back, said, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> Listen, to him. Like, we ain't doing this today, man. Not in this game. Not this. Yeah, not against this team. We playing Xavier too. Oh, no. <laughs> no them, they, cause that game is intense. So he like yelling at, I'm like, you recruited them, not me. Not me. Well, <laughs> exactly. Feels like a natural transition and a way to keep this show going. Oh, so shit. let's talk a little bit about these Golden State Warriors. Warriors didn't make any major moves at the deadline. Uh, decision is looking less questionable as the team is on a four game winning streak, including a big win over the Suns, big three on Saturday night, where Steph Curry got his chef on with the biggest bucket in the game. Pajemski has it. Here come so, the screens. After Bradley Bill comes free. Mm. Gets tried to go for the steal. Oh, steal. Gave Steph too much space. <laughs> Hit the three to put the Warriors up one. Because if he don't go for the steal like that, they throw the ball right to him. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot, though. Yes, it was. Shout out to you. Steph won the walk-off. Yeah. Catch. Steph canned after the game, joking about he finally got a game winner. He, he's hit several in his career, but... Like, that's the game winner. Right there. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, that's the one. The, the, oh, he's never hit, like, a buzzer beater before? No, he has, but oh. he's been struggling a little bit as, as it would like to, oh. to get her done, but... Shit, I saw him put Houston to bed last year, nigga. That's <laughs> night, night. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got 10 career game winners. Shit. Uh, the Warriors are 6-1 in their last seven games. Uh, in that time frame, Steph's averaging 32 points a game, close to six rebounds, four assists, 54% from the field, 51% from three. <laughs> on damn near, or over 13 attempts a game. So I know we were talked last week, uh, it wasn't looking too <coughs> good for these Warriors team. Uh, you know, some of us felt like they may not even make the playoffs, but what's the Warriors ceiling when Steph is playing at this level, Gil? He's been playing at that level all season. But he's elevated now. He was elevated all season. Remember, he was averaging about 31 all season. And uh, he took a dip when Draymond got suspended. So. The fact that they're in tenth, playing so well, lets you know where the ceiling is. Oh, because <laughs> that's the ceiling is the ceiling is the roof, the right? Ceiling now. Is, <laughs> <laughs> the ceiling is the roof. I mean, yeah. I mean, we acting like Steph ain't been doing this all season. It's the rest of the motherfucking team. It's the other fourteen players that's the problem right now. But the, I mean, not him. 
Kerr been shaking up the lineup. Uh, Kaminga said he lost faith in Kerr yeah. a, a yeah, few weeks ago. Yeah, you see the rest up? Yeah, that's the, the yeah, faith was restored. Yeah, keep naming, keep going. Who else? Moody, uh, Draymond, doing Draymond, all right? Yep, right? Fair. Wiggins, we still, is he still on the team still? Wig Wiggins is still a member of the okay, Golden State member, Warriors. Okay. He said that he forgot how to play basketball at ESPN. Oh, he did? And then, that's what they said. And they then, said that on TV. Clay. He lost right? his oh. talent, like on. Um, <laughs> like in Space Jam. Like he, <laughs> <laughs> he left it back in Canada. <laughs> that's not this, funny, Dan. His talent got deported. His talent has his visa, huh? It expired. His work visa expired. His talent back over there, huh? News, bro. They ain't meeting him the hoops. He got to play better. That's what I'm saying. So visa ran out on his talent. The silly way he's playing like that is a 10th spot because he's done everything he possibly can do to keep them in striking distance. You know, everybody else has to step up at this point. I mean, you know, Kirby put in a tough position. Obviously, a lot of shakeups. Not making a move at the deadline. I think a lot of us disagree Wait, with that. Wait, you said Kerr's been put in the what? He's just make, making some shakeups with the line I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I thought you said he's been put in a... No, no, no. You said he's yeah. been put okay. into a... Yeah, you yeah. have players fuck up sometimes. No, I'm just saying because you made it seem like... like, like <laughs> He's not the reason for the mismanagement of who he going to put in. You made it yeah. seem like... like Something happened, and you know this is what he got. Well, That's your Arizona <laughs> brethren, but I already know well, you don't really know each other. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, you know, too. Yeah, you know. but but yeah. understood the error of his ways. Really started to, to lean on Kaminga more. Yeah, you need to, hit. man. Yeah, That's the one. Yeah, he's the here's the NBA. Mm -hmm. Young, athletic, hungry, play hard. He hit like that's what more motherfuckers need to play like him. Mm -hmm. Night in, night out. But he go, he getting to it. Yep. Like he ain't got he ain't shy about any aspects of competing, his game, nothing. Throw that ball up. Mm -hmm. Got the haircut too. Been a much different basketball player since getting a haircut like none of us were able to do before this episode. <laughs> so, I need to get my Kaminga on. But let's talk about Draymond. Uh hard to solve this team. I think, you know, we said that a ton, but first time uh Draymond and Nurk played against each other uh since the slap scene around the basketball world. That led to Dre's 16-game suspension, as expected. Both players were about that action uh, during the game. So, like, Nurk was trying to bait, Dre, uh, bait Draymond, hit him with a two small, and then slap him on his little booty, with, with the double, double floor smack Draymond just to make sure he's seen it. And slap him on his, his behind. Nurk really the, kind then he tried to turn his back on him. him Dre scored on him, so hit him with the slap. On the post is they also expected. got into it. And uh, Clay, you know, Drake choked Gobert in Clay's defense. Clay stepping up for his brother. <laughs> <laughs> Took matters in his whole hands. Knew Drake couldn't Dog, do it. What? And then final play of the game, uh, Dre stopped KD from scoring, uh, let him know whose house it was, and as you can probably read lips, called him a pussy. Oh, my God. Former teammate. <laughs> What's up, book? <laughs> Been dapped up, book. <laughs> Funniest so part of the clip, him, man. God damn. I think other dudes not just expect this from Draymond, so it's not even like this is a big deal. <laughs> Go ahead, Katie. Oh, what's up, book? How you doing? Back to normal. So that after quick. the game, uh, Nurt basically told Suns beat reporter Dwayne Rankin uh, that brother can't be helped. I mean, it's sad. He didn't learn anything, man. Jackie. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. I'm going to knock somebody else again. So take everything back what I said. You, know, you don't deserve a chance. So that's, that's it for me. When you, when you say that, I mean, what do you feel like he was doing tonight that just that told you that, that nothing has changed? The antics. I try to hit people with that's the stuff terrible. you shouldn't do. But I don't care. You know, at the end of the day, Good um, they try to play that way. But no one worried about that. <laughs> so, as tons of Warriors fans pointed out, and I know we haven't always seen eye to eye uh, over the years, but Nurk was trying to bait Draymond the whole game. Smart on his part, knowing that, that Draymond's on thin ice. Dre didn't cross that line, came close, but veered clear of it. But during his post-game press conference, Draymond had this to say in response to Nurk. I mean, I thought I was pretty great tonight, honestly. Um, <laughs> you know, so... I thought, you know, he tried to get in my head and it didn't work. If he want me to walk around quiet like him, I'm never going to do that. Quiet guys don't win. Um, so, yeah, I thought I was pretty great tonight. Uh, 
So yeah, he can keep riding the same horse that he came rode in on. He can ride his ass on out here on the same horse. It ain't working. Just a quick follow up. Um, what have you learned? Sorry, Adam. I didn't mean to curse. That just slipped out. Oh my God. Sorry. Uh, what have you learned since your suspension? That when I'm in the game, we are a very good basketball team. Incredible. <laughs> um, and I uh, think people are starting to see that. So feeling that's great. what I've learned. You feeling good after that game. Yo. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. He did definitely outplay. What have you learned since your suspension? <laughs> when I'm on a court, we good as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's facts, though. Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna change it. Y'all ain't changing. Yeah, y'all ain't changing. <laughs> Draymo <laughs> coming. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh my oh, that's god! Funny. That's funny. It's very hard not to love that dude, man. Like I know we spent a lot of this <laughs> season talking about him, the various situations, but you got to take the occasional nerd slap, mm -hmm. the the go bear choke outs, and all that other stuff. Slap the good with the bad. But but what did y'all think? Just uh, we got a lot to unpack here. But what did y'all think about Draymond saying quiet guys don't win? Is that true or false? Facts or cap, as we say on the show. <clears throat> I don't know. I would, you, would you consider Steph a quiet guy? I mean, he has Draymond. I mean, got... That's what I'm saying. So, like, I don't know. I don't really know what he meant by yeah. that. I think that was just a direct shot at Nurk. But yeah, that's, uh, that's where the family. Steph is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty quiet, dude. You I got think. Kawhi. You got Tim Duncan. I mean, you've got some, some quiet yeah, guys. I mean, you got some, yeah, I mean, you know. Quiet guys, in fact. I mean, we understand what he's trying to say, but, you know. <laughs> we get what is he trying to say? We get the gist of it. Quiet guys stuff. do win, though. Yeah. Gil Hopper and the Dre translator, is, is Dre trying to call Nurk uh, the same word that he called KD after the game? Kinda. Oh, okay. Sure. No, not kinda. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah, directly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how important are the antics uh, and Draymond's ability to get under opposing players' skin in terms of his greatness when you just look at it overall? I mean, you know, what he brings to the game, you know, um, a lot of stars don't like, right? You know, someone all in your face. Someone touching you all the time, right? We we have this, we have this thing that we want to move through the we want to move through the court without being touched, like, mm -hmm. like don't yep. you know, like so like this just doing this irritates the hell out of somebody, right? So um, you know he has a knack for just constantly just irritating, you know, the norm, your rhythm. So you know uh, for him he's 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 made a living off of it, and it's it's paid off, like. He is a four-time champion. He's a defensive player. To, I mean, he has all the accolades as an individual to stand on what he does, right? This is not, you know, um, as much as we want to say, you know, what he does is bad for the game, you know, when you talk about champion, remember, whatever y'all say about him, you got to use that, right? You know, yeah. you got you to gotta stand on it. No matter what you say, what you say about Dennis Rodman, you got you to gotta put, the, put the rings behind it to the point where when y'all use rings, remember everybody you say, they, we get to use this too. So you say, ah, oh, it's bad for the game. Well, winning four championships is bad for the game. You know. Yeah, he's perfected it. It's his craft at this mm -hmm. point, but he doesn't have to put his hands on people, which is, I think that's the point everyone was trying to make, was Jaron, you can be yourself, but just don't. Slap people, don't choke people up, but that's a part of it, though. No, man, I hate, I don't like that. But I mean, he took, he took Nerd completely out of his game because Nerd was trying to worry so, about Draymond. So what if you had a teammate on there that, like, anytime they try to get on lead, they just choke the shit out of the team? I don't want them to choke because then they're gonna get suspended and then we're gonna lose. And now what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> like what? I don't want my teammate to get this for 16 games. No, don't choke her. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, girl. Stop. Just play basketball. In the play basketball. <laughs> Just a girl. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you look at Draymond and just, the, I mean, you know, we talk about the antics a lot, but mm -hmm. you have to appreciate them to a certain extent because they've been a huge part of the, the Warriors' success in building their dynasty. Oh, no, I do. I just, yeah. I, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. That's what takes to get him going and what can you say if the only like I said the only time that it's cost him is when he got spent in game five that one year mm -hmm. yeah. other than that it's he lost a few dollars this year I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he regret that mm -hmm. um, 
But other than that, nah, I man, he is who he is, man. And he, he goes out and he competes. Um, if you let that get to you, that's on you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's... And he got, hey, he, until they get done, he has a, he has a rival and one single, another guy. So mm-hmm. another, another person who don't like him, which, oh well. <laughs> she got the win. I mean, well, yeah, well, yeah, what you going to do about that's it? That's the most like, important thing, right? You, and he when kicked, you win, yeah. you can do what you want. Yeah. And he did play well. He huh? had a triple double. Yeah. He had a triple double? Almost. Almost. Yeah. He played well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Got the key stop at the end, right? Well, let's talk about the other side of it. Uh, what did this moment say about the Suns as a basketball team to tolerate a level of disrespect like that? You got Dre going hard on your whole squad. It's it, a play, it, playoff environment. I mean, you know, when you're talking about just one intense player that you got to play against, I mean, that's it, right? If you can withstand, you know, Draymond Green, I mean, what other team has a player that's going to do that? I mean, like, none. None in the playoffs. You're not going to, you know what I mean? You're not going to face anybody in the playoffs that's going to have someone that's, that's sitting there, you know, trying to aggravate, trying to stop, trying to do any of this to get under your skin. Like, he's, he's sitting there trying to manipulate everybody on your team. Oh, he ain't passing you the ball, shit. You know what I mean? Like, he's out there playing his role, so it don't get no better than, you know, he's going to take the challenge at the end. He gonna, if I got to stop, if Booker was trying to get the ball at the end, he would have been guarding Booker. Yeah, he's talking to the bench, coaches, <laughs> trainers. Rips. Yeah, he everybody. Man. Everybody can get it. Everybody, can. everybody can, ain't nobody exempt. Mm-hmm. Oh well, that's what get him going to go out and compete. Hey, yo. So is ignoring Draymond the only real strategy? And also, as a player on the court, when you have somebody on the opposing team doing stuff like that, how hard is it to ignore what they what they're doing to you? Like for me, like nothing that he, like all the t- that don't. It's not in my. I don't deem it as being disrespectful. Like you doing some shit, I'm mm. like, how'd you do what he did? I'm gonna knock your hand off. Like, mm. we, but we ain't go. I'm not finna get go there if it ain't w- worth. Like, you ain't doing nothing that's like when he hit Nurk. Like that shit was wasn't nothing worthy of getting that upset about. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's just yeah. No, nah, I just people they do so sensitive these days. No. Yeah. They get to play to the media. He gets to be, like, yeah. Nurk gets to be a victim. Yeah. Hey, you see what he was doing out there? Everybody's like, what was he doing? Ah, he was just being him. <laughs> yeah. Just, he been thinking about this game for a while. Yeah. Since he got slapped. He probably woke up like, yo, I'm going to just try to get him out of this game. Exactly. Do a, little, do a little shit here and there. <laughs> it didn't yeah, yeah. work. <laughs> like, that's what should've, I'm saying. Like, look, think about that. What, 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 what put has Nurk ever in? done that? Yeah. Never, never, but that's what I'm like, saying. You, you I've doing never it. seen Nurk do that. Slap the fl- I've never seen him do nothing. With the little baby down. With the double, smack him on his booty. <laughs> double floors. <laughs> yeah. but you didn't hear the first smack, Draymond. Let me make sure you... Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, like, Lay the baby down. You little. Smack him on the booty twice. And he tried to do the thing where, where Draymond had the ball. He turned, and, you know, the disrespectful thing. The Draymond just drove to the cup and got the bucket. He had did it to Giannis in a previous but, game. But that's what I'm saying. You, you, can't play, you can't do all that during the court and then play victim in the media. Yeah. And he shouldn't be allowed to play today. Yeah, because if he wasn't playing, y'all probably would have got that win. Yeah. Should have put more thought Sit your ass down, brother. Should have put more thought into <laughs> that, that jacket selection. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's whose? Nurks. 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 Yeah. Yeah, like Draymond shit was fire. I like Draymond. Yeah. I like Draymond with the hood. Glasses, like too. Yeah, yeah with the Cartier. He was feeling good after yeah, that good, game. Yeah, with the good Cartiers on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that was a good fit, Draymond. But Nurk, that shit was some bullshit. <laughs> And was Draymond right <laughs> in talking about how much better the Warriors are as a team when he's out there on the court? I think <laughs> pretty obvious that whatever they're going to accomplish this year, they need yeah. him. Because of fuck that, what he wanted to say to that question. Let's talk about the question mm-hmm. that was asked <laughs> for him to have that response. But what he probably, what he wanted to say, <laughs> he didn't, which uh-huh. was good. <laughs> like, what the hell you mean? What have I learned since I... But, <laughs> He answered the politically correct way. Politically correct, yeah. Hey, we're a very good basketball team. That's what I've learned. Good basketball team. <laughs> you know, they're doing what I want. Because you can't be us. honest. Yeah. You can't say, what have you learned? Nothing. <laughs> the fuck? Nothing. I ain't learned shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I just, just spent it for you. just took fucking money. That's, yeah. all that, that's all that was. I just lost money. That's all that, like... Motherfucker, I was at the Rams. I was at the Rams Brown game. Goddamn it! I was at a Laker game. I didn't learn. Sh- I was at LeBron birthday party. I didn't learn shit. Okay, 
Now, can we get on with the motherfucking next question? Can't say that. No, nah, that's what he wanted to say. <laughs> but that's what he wanted to say. Absolutely, that's what he wanted I hate, I hate, I hate when media do that shit. What right? are you You've been there? suspended three games. And I ask you, so if you can do it all over again, what would you do? Slap him again. <laughs> like, the fuck you think I've been doing at the house? You think I just... <laughs> think I ain't go to jail. <laughs> I went to my that. mansion, uh-huh. <laughs> I flew private to LeBron's birthday party. You think I was thinking about what I did and why I was suspended while I was getting drunk? No. <laughs> no, nah, I was on the fifth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. That's what I said, man. They said that you be sitting there like just, um, yeah, uh, uh, I learned um, a lot. Um, with the suspension, and don't do that again. Um, yeah, so uh, just waiting for somebody to ask another question. <laughs> just, just out there saying nothing. Have, what have you learned, nigga? In two days, nothing. Uh, they said they're a much better team when I'm out there <laughs> being myself. That's what I being myself. <laughs> So that was great today. <laughs> that was great today. <laughs> so we're talking about the Warriors dynasty. Obviously, we got to talk Clay as well. Uh, Future's been the subject of, of a lot of talk. Uh, some thought he'd be moved the deadline. Warriors to a pat, uh, rolling with this roster. Uh, in a recent interview with the Ringers, Logan Murdoch, Clay had this to say about wanting to stay with the Warriors and being willing to accept a reduced role. He said, "Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be 35 next year at 35, coming off an of ACL and an Achilles tear, and still have the ability to be a really good player." Maybe not the guy who scored 60 and three quarters and scored an NBA record 37 points in a quarter, but still a great threat out there. I modeled my game after Reggie Miller and Ray Allen, and those guys were incredibly effective into their late 30s. So I plan on kind of following that mode. Yeah, let them know, Clay. Damn. Pow, <laughs> An NBA record in this case. You can... Pow. Shots fired. He's, yeah. he's going through it. He's going through it, though. I ain't going to lie. He's going through it. Because... He turned down the two-year 48, right? He turned it down because he thought it was worth more. You know, so the fact to see him a few months later saying that he's willing to take a, a less role to stay with the team, it kind of, I think, like, reality done kicked in. Because mm -hmm. I'm 100% 100 sure if he was balling the way he, was, he, was, he thought he was, he would have been asking four-year 100, right? This is what I am. You know, so, so the fact that, you know, reality done kicked in and he realized that shit, you know, I, may, I might be signing a two-year 15, two-year 20 max. Wait, 20, two-year 20 total? Two-year 20. Man, it, the, the dude said he, he's willing to take a, a, a backseat role. Oh, my God. You think, think two-year 48 is still on the table? I didn't say two year forty eight, Gil, but two year this between two year forty eight and two year twenty. I mean, I'm starting to they bring, I'm, I'm they bring anybody else in? Like you can like, now. Yeah, Shit, two Yeah, if he takes you, less. They can grab the Paul George, come off the bench. Shit. Whatever. Two year so, forty eight. I'm looking at uh, so it's two so average seventeen this year, you average twenty two last year. Mm-hmm. 20 year before. So I, it ain't that far off. 2013, 2014, he averaged 18. It's, like how, it's how it looks. Yeah. I guess it's steady, it's more steady, more but I yeah. feel like people are being overly crazy. Played 47 games, playing 31 minutes a night, averaging 17. That ain't bad, man. No. But I'm just like, why is, why is it such an uproar? Because when you, have, you averaged 20 last year, mm -hmm. and. So that's they worth offered the same you, money. They offered you two year 48 for averaging 20. Yeah, they, that's all they had to give him. That's all they had, I think. Wasn't it? No. They can, always, they can, they can, they can always find some bread. They, they can always, so they, you know, they signed Draymond first, right? Yeah. So, so the they, fact gave, that they, they gave him 100. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably sure he wanted... I'm, how many, he how probably many wanted more. How many signed Draymond? Huh? Uh, four years, I believe four years, something in the 100 range. So. I mean, yeah, if I'm Clay and you, I see that you gave... Like, I would have signed Dre, it. I would have been like, okay, well... Three years, 100? Like, I, I, it was yeah. four, it was four for 100, I think. Four for 100. No, that's Dre's four for 100, yeah. so what do you think Clay was worth? I'm the second option. Yeah, I get it. But I mean, yeah, Draymond is... But it, you got to... Yeah, I would have <laughs> signed it, because the second year would have been a player option. I would have signed it. I would have opted in. So he wanted that, but the problem is, I think he wanted that four years to take him to thirty-nine. And then now you could go back and go do this another. So it's, it's, it, he had bad advice, I think. Yeah. 
So you should have signed it. it. Second year player option, right? Mm -hmm. Opted in because I'm not playing as well as I. I come back and then I can still sign another two year. Then you got your four year. Like I just yeah. no stress. Right? He just wanted the now four you could the two for less right now would be better uh, than yeah. But I, you know when you're talking about 35, you know what your body feel like. Yeah. So if you you know if you know what your body feel like, you you trying to see if you can get a guaranteed four years out of him. And I think that's what where he wasn't mindful of just if the season went bad and you know the fact that it's going bad. I I don't see them. Offering him two years, forty-eight anymore. Yeah, it's, 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 knowing, knowing now, now that he knows reality kicked in, he knows that, you know, for us to be great, you're gonna have to take a back seat. Which your money's gonna take a back seat. You don't want to leave because obviously you saying this is where you want to want to be. I have so much leverage now. So, yeah. you know, offering you thirty. Nah. Uh, I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off two year, twenty 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 two. You know, See what I can get. Hindsight 2020, if, if you were in Clay's position, would you have made a similar move? When? I mean, we always talk about guys betting on themselves, you know, but you see what happened to Schroeder. Like, it, it mm -hmm. can go bad at times. Yeah. But if you were in Clay's position coming in to those negotiations, would you have done the same thing, try to play this year out, prove that you were worth more bread? Draymond just signed f for... Draymond's younger, right? Draymond's younger than um, Clay. Um, but I would have factor in age, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was, that, you know, he's 34, 35 entering the season. You know, if he can get a guaranteed four years, three years uh, with a player option um, and give me guaranteed money until I'm 38, 39 years old, th that would be the ultimate goal. Yeah. And they're the same. Uh, I think Dre's a month younger than Clay, but... Yeah, see, so right there, you just gave him four years to, to, to keep him till he's 39. I would have been looking for the same thing. So, you know, the two-year 48, I, I probably would have been in the same goddamn boat. Mm -hmm. But I can't say I would have did anything. I would have been just right here, yep. mad and shit, sitting out there struggling, <laughs> sounding the same goddamn way. Yeah, you know, uh, it's been a little rough these few last years. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Like, damn, Gil going through it, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of things happened in the season, though, that were, like, unforeseen. Mm -hmm. Like, I just think... Hope he finish up strong. Yeah. And I think Draymond getting suspended, like, that kind of just derailed what him and... I mean, what him and Steph do, Draymond has such a large part in that. Obviously, Steph is figuring it out himself, but it's not leading to win, many wins, but... And we talk about the situation where it is right now. We got All-Star break coming up. Obviously, we're going to try to make a playoff push. If Clay can turn it around, can he get some of that value back? Uh, trade, trade talk is over, too. Yeah, so I'm saying that I'm here. I know, I know I'm here for at least to the end of the season now. If I can go on a run, help the Warriors make a push in the playoffs, look like vintage Clay in those moments, does that change the, the bad? I mean, it, 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 it's, it, it, you can because at the end of the, it's, it's that last, that last part of basketball is what everybody actually be remembering, right? Last 25 games, last 15 games, right? You know, he finished off, you know, like we're talking about Stefan. You know, oh, you're averaging 36 in the last 55. You know, if he pulls one of those in that that April, you know, June, July, and they, you know, make it far and he's done hit some game wins, he's done hit some 50 pieces and stuff like that, yeah, he can get his value back. Um, I'm pretty sure as an organization, they're not hoping for that. Right? <laughs> they're hoping Clay be Clay right now, not Clay the old, so... You know, and then how much do you think Steph is just involved in these discussions? Again, there was there was big talk for the deadline. I think the market was a little low or slim on on Clay, but these are Steph's guys. They built this you know big three together, this core created this dynasty together. And Steph wanted to take care of his guys and do right by them. There was a question there. Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> for your reaction. I mean, I feel like Steph, Steph you, is like one of the superstars who, like, he doesn't really show his cards. So, like, I honestly have no idea how much or how little he has to do with. Obviously, he's a superstar of yeah. his team, but, you know, he's not walking around like how Brown we walk around, like Mr. GM. So Not subtweeting and all, the, all that good <laughs> shit. But I'm just saying, just, yeah. you know, the, the Warriors want to keep Steph happy. He's, he's the franchise right now, so a part of that is taking care of these other guys and keeping this thing rolling until the wheels fall off? Mm, just like anything in life, man. You know, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. 
You know, and it's, it's him to realize if these hands he got with his team is fold them hands and he got to get new hands. I need some new cars, goddammit, you know. <laughs> I don't think these cars I got is very good right now, right? So he's going to have to throw in a couple. He's going to have to throw in a couple to get some new ones. That's my point. Is he going to get to that point or is it like, I got a bad hand. I'm just going to try to ride this out and see if I could well, I mean, bluff my way to a win. Nah. Then get your boot. Yeah, you gonna yeah, you gonna yeah. You gonna get your boot. You gonna have to pull out a gun in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they get you. I don't like this hand, goddamn. Yeah, they get you. Yeah, they get you booed in the game of boot. Yeah, you yeah, you gonna stay with this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these five. Yeah, I'm gonna like, keep these five. So you know, we'll see yeah. what happens in the offseason. Eventually, we'll come to that. Let's keep rolling. Let's talk uh, about Tyrese Halliburton. Uh, Twelve dimes, and the Pacers went over the Knicks in the Garden, but none was better than this one right here. Man went off the backboard. Found Siakam in the corner for the three. So the play was very similar to one that happened 12 years ago to the day. Same arena in the garden. Kobe off the backboard. Hit Pau Gasol. For the jump, we got the side by side. Look at that. Halliburton. 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 So when you guys see play like, I mean, how big of a deal is a play like that to you? Is that pretty basic? Is that? That's not basic to me. Okay. That's, <laughs> me either, not. just as a, a casual fan watching, like. That's high IQ. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's high IQ, knowing awareness, knowing your options. I mean, you know, that's why only a few selective people can do it and have done it. Um, J. Kidd is one of those type of guys, right? You'd be sitting there posting up and, He'll throw it, hit the bottom of the backboard right into your lap. Oh, shit. Like, you know, there's, there's only a few players that use all of the court to their disposal. Right, Kobe, like, um, like even when Ant-Man, you know, when you throw, even when you throw it off the backboard to yourself, that, that's aware. That's where you sit there and get caught in the air and like, oh, here's my option. Right, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a brain that's moving in real time and understands, you know, the full magnitude of um, the game itself, the rules, I mean, everything that has to do with it. So when I see plays like this, I'm like, man, very high IQ people. So game is always evolving, and you, you talk about that. It seems like utilizing the backboard more, just as the game continues to evolve, to be able to throw defensive off. And obviously it takes a very sharp mind, a J-Kid level, a Halliburton, an Ant level player to do it. but. Do you see a world where, where more players and teams start using the backboard as an additional weapon resource in their offensive strategy? Because no. being able to just... No, because most of the people are dumb. <laughs> and the, I mean, that, Do you think, I, like, a coach will ever, like, put a play call in uh, where a player got to throw it off I mean, the I see what, like, Wimby and things. I mean, it just seems like, all right, if I can shift the defense and now get it off the back, and now I just have him coming off the other side, like... Because, I mean, that, get a stat that, for that? that coach has to be that type of player. So, Jay Kidd is a coach, and... Oh. You know, he could have a play that does something like that, understanding that once you throw it off the backboard, everybody's going to look and boom, we're going to throw it. But, you know, um, that's like, you know, a quarterback or a team with a trick play. You know, that can be a trick play. But for the most part, I mean, people are stupid. Yeah. Right? Um, you know, I know, some people, I know some people are going to say, Gil, you never threw it off the backboard because I didn't pass to nobody. <laughs> Not even the backboard. <laughs> Not even the backboard got a pass because No, those are, yeah, that's a crazy boy. I didn't want no assist, not even from myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, oh, God damn it, I pass it off the backboard to myself and credit myself with it. Nah, I'm good. Get this bucket. No. Hey, can you talk about, we talk about high IQ players mm. playing with a guy like Jay Kidd, just the ability, like, were you just aware at all times, like, yo, he could give me this ball at any moment? Oh, he did. Yeah. <laughs> shit, man, you know, he just try shit, like, you do see this dude standing right here in front of me, right? <laughs> like, it didn't matter with him. Like, he just do shit. Like, this dude. Yeah. So when y'all, wait, so when y'all, like, like, was there signs? Like, did he just say, yo, always look at the ball? Like, always look at me? Like, because there's sometimes, like, it's like y'all always had your eye on him. Yeah, because you're going to hit you in your face with it. Mm. Hit you in the back of the head with <laughs> it or something. Like, no, yeah, we just we just had something like this report, man. Like I don't like all the spin lobs and like all that. It was I should walk him up and spin. I'm like, all right, tell me once, and it was just and other situation like nah. It was just we always you knew like when you play somebody like that, I man. You got to be on the swivel because he passed first, and he gonna try passes that no one else is gonna try, and he gonna do some shit. He gonna be like, 
did y'all, did, did you looking around like, did, did everybody just see what I just saw? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, but he just, that, that high IQ, just trying shit. Like, we was, he throwing the ball off the glass to me in the playoffs. Mm. Like, we were fast break. Like, I'm thinking he finna just throw it to, he, oh, shit, <laughs> throw it off, uh, okay. Uh-huh. Like and it was good. it was good for me having like him like in an All Star game too. Yeah, I remember. I was, I was watching clips at the All Star game. The shit y'all were getting off in that game. Yeah, was like, unbelievable. So it was just having him there made my job easy because I knew what he was gonna do and he knew I'm gonna run. He was gonna throw it up. Is that stuff you practice or is that just a field thing? Hell no, nah, ain't. Yeah, so I mean, I've always just been curious. like, there's a clip. Should we playing Philly? He drove baseline. I'm thinking he finna shoot a reverse layup. He see me coming down the middle of the floor. He like, I'm just gonna throw the lob. <laughs> he like he he be behind the basket. And he see me coming down and he just threw the ball out. That's crazy. And I'm like, and I dunked him over and I in my reaction, I came down like damn. <laughs> <laughs> like you read my lips, like I came down uh -huh. like damn. Uh -huh. Like it's like, I saw him like <clears throat> he half court. He bow, like bowling. bowling. Spin to Lucius Harris and the joint slowed down right by the rim and Lou just picked it up and laid the bitch in. I was like, yo, man. Like, oh, no, nobody trying that. No. Like, like, there's, like, it's just. But they even have that level of comfort on his side to be able to, like, that stuff that always just amazes me when you see guys that have a mastery of the game and understand how to use the basketball, like, to get stuff like that off, just even do it. But not afraid to turn it over, neither. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, when you led the league in assists and turnovers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because you're going to try shit. You're like, oh. and you, he throw it, he jump with you like, ooh. And then he realize, like, damn, I'm going I'm to get it next time. Like, so he's going to try it again. I'm going to get it next time. I mean, he that's gonna... what makes Halliburton so special because he don't really be turning that ball over that much for yeah. the type yeah. of passes he be throwing. Yeah. No, I said, yeah, he does Like, Dre Miller was that way. Andre Miller? Andre yeah. Miller was underrated with that thing. He, yeah. Dre was trying. So I went from J-Kid to Dre, so it was, it wasn't a too big of a fall off. I'm saying, but nah, but J.K. is special in that regard. So, uh, talking about another player who's special, uh, we got to talk about the player that J.K. is currently coaching, Luka. Luka Magic is real. Uh, MVP candidate show, Knicks fans. Another one of his tricks in the garden recently. Fucking dying. This is Charlie Brown. Knicks Brown. Yeah, Knicks. Early minutes here. You go to New York, you just highlight that. Oh, yeah. Uh, behind the back pass of the, the white pal. No, this is... Come on, oh, that was right-handed. He did turn around, nonetheless. So when y'all when y'all look at that, just on, we'll, we'll see one more time. That's blitz. The guy got blitzed. What is the degree of difficulty on, on a pass like that? And Gil, could, I know you don't pass anyway, so you were never trying it, but so I thought he was throwing the bitch to the corner. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Like, yeah. You said so it's like I thought he was throwing it to the bitch. The misdirection with the eyes, like it's a lot. That's a hard pass. The finish was tough too. Well, Should have dunked the bitch. <laughs> that's what I'm. Probably mad. was like, damn. I'm, that's what I'm, I'm pretty mad sure he just Probably he just had made me. I made him. He didn't dunk the bitch. Like, but no, nah, hell of a play, hell of a pass, hell of a catch, hell of a finish. That's a hard. So for a good highlight. Yeah, yeah. All the all the ingredients for a good one. Let's talk about these maps a little bit. Uh, the Mavs made some moves at the deadline, adding P.J. Washington and Daniel Gafford. Uh, pair looked good in their Mavs debut in a blowout win over the Thunder. Uh, Gafford dropped 19 points, 9 rebounds, and 17 minutes off the bench. Washington added 14 points and 5 boards. So Luke acknowledged that he had a hand in making the moves by being vocal about the Mavs' need to upgrade the roster. He said the following, you can see how important it is. You can see the impact that they have. So I think it's really important. But Gil asked you, like, how important is it for superstars to be vocal and, and have a role in front office decisions. I mean, if you're the superstar and winning um, <clears throat> falls on your shoulders, you know, because that's what people are judging you off of, right? You know, how far can you go in the playoffs? How, how you know, can, have you won a championship? So, you know, having the right pieces that, that helps you be successful is your responsibility. You know, if you're a guy that's quiet and you don't say anything and they keep just bringing anybody in that has nothing to do with, you know, your game or match your game, and you guys are clashing, it's, it falls on you anyway. So, you know, the fact that you're going to be judging your legacy is built on, you know, wins and losses, then, you know, every superstar should say exactly what they want to be successful. And you've been in that position before. Was, was the front office talking to you about moves or decisions they were going to make? How much were they actually listening to you when you might have lobby, lobby for guys or say, hey, we need to trade for this dude or sign this dude? 
and just how did it make you feel when they were supportive and how did it make you feel when they were un unsupportive of those? Brother, I was, I was a franchise guy, not the franchise guy, right? There's, there's different levels of... <laughs> yeah, please <laughs> There's explain. levels of... Please explain. Who's the best player in Houston? Right? There's the best player in Houston, right? <laughs> right? There's the best player in Houston. There's the best player in Portland. Mm -hmm. Right? There's the best player in Utah, right? Right? You the best player, but you not them. Yeah. That, that can say what you want. You just the best player on that team there. You know, I wasn't, you know, I was young, so um, I wasn't, I didn't hit the caliber yet to be demanding mm -hmm. who the fuck I'm playing with, right? You know, okay. and that's what I mean. Like, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a number one there's guy levels. on every team. There's levels. Yeah, so I wasn't I wasn't at that I wasn't at that level yet. Okay. You know, I was at the level where where uh Hey, can we stay in Miami a little bit longer? <laughs> <laughs> I was I was at that level, you know what I mean? Instead of going to uh, the Memphis, you know, we're gonna stay in Miami a couple more days before we go to hey. Memphis. That that was my level. Uh -huh. That's important. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we got an audience question. Yeah, so I uh, wanted to ask about Grant Williams being traded away from the Mavs at the trade deadline. They said uh, that he rubbed Luka the wrong way. And then after the Hornets won on Saturday, he said, quote, it's great to get a win for the city and play for the jersey that's across your chest, not on your back. Everybody touched the ball. We trusted one another. What do you think about Grant Williams and his disconnect Ooh. with potentially Luka? I mean, fired that quickly. damn. There's also the clip of uh, Grant Williams on the bench with Kyrie doing some shit, and Kyrie just looking at him like, Stop. Can't wait to get your ass out of here. <laughs> oh, I mean, so he was just that guy that everybody wanted going. I mean, I don't know. See, that's this new basketball where everyone feels that they all need to touch the ball. Right? Jay Kidd is coaching Luka. How they, how they play exactly how it's supposed to be played. Grant Williams, you, you never really supposed to touch the ball like that. <laughs> like, that's just not... That's just not in the cards. He, in Boston, he was, he had the ball a lot in Boston. That, that's the problem, and that's why they never were successful. Like, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's supposed to be in your best player's hands, and if he do pass it, if you don't have a wide open shot, get that shit back to where it came from. <laughs> like, ah, ah, ah. They did combine for ah, 82, though. They combined for that. Return to sender. <laughs> they, combined, they combined for that 82 when Luka has 73. No, I'm just saying, it's just... <laughs> It's just one of those things where, you know, I think, you know, um, some of these players and um, these teams, they got so used to just, we supposed to take 53s and they get a shot and they, they sitting there shooting it like, yo, dude, relax. Mm -hmm. All right, relax. You average four points a game. You shot seven threes, okay? <laughs> four, that don't even math math. <laughs> <laughs> right? So just because they want us to shoot 43s, they don't mean you shoot any of them, right? You might get one <laughs> off of some, but yeah. the other three or the other seven is gonna go between the, us two right here, yeah. Yeah. right? And that's how Luca and Kyrie play. Luca, Kyrie, and Junior, mm -hmm. Tim Hardaway, that's it. The rest well, of y'all get in where you fit in. I was surprised that he didn't figure it out. I mean, he played with Tatum and Brown. Like, those are two very ball-dominant guards. So the fact that he came over to Luca and Kyrie, and he was <clears> like, I, everyone don't touch the ball. I was like, just a little surprised he felt that way. Let that money go to his head. Hello. Probably. Yeah, probably yeah. to it. Thought he was more important than he is. That's what it is. Yeah. Cause you still gotta conduct yourself in a way when you go to a new team. No matter how much money you're making, you still the new. You're the new guy. And you ain't, new, you ain't good like that. Like I mean, you're you're a, a six four power forward. I mean, <laughs> with no offense ability. I mean, what is your like your value is off of if we like you. Right, I mean, I'm, I, right now, if, if if we can take, if they can take, if they put you and PJ Tucker together and say, all right, you can only pick one, I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna go with PJ Tucker. PJ Washington? No. PJ Tucker. Okay. okay. Right, six four power forwards. Right, I'm gonna go with PJ Tucker. <laughs> Over Where's PJ Tucker at right now? Uh, Clippers, Ryden. Graveyard. The still? The graveyard. Oh. Posting uh, sneak disses on IG. Yeah, that man tried to buy himself out. <laughs> <laughs> yep, How much this shit cost? <laughs> <you leave? laughs> How much shit this buyout cost? Yeah, I got to. That's crazy. How much? Check, I got a right to get out of here, man. 
I need to go somewhere. I can't just run up and down. Like, you he's just talking that motherfucker playing Monopoly. He in jail and shit. What you got to do? You got to pay $200. <laughs> you got to roll double. Or you. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, uh, Grand Williams oh. getting, getting more touches this season with the Mavs. I think it was averaging a career high, too. So Career high what? Uh, points. Which was how many? What? Four. Oh, eight. <laughs> no, you, you averaged eight. Man. Are you saying they touched the ball around? See, that's just shut up. <laughs> we passed the ball around a lot more around you, here. Like, you're averaging eight. And that, you, y'all won, the, won 12 games. Nigga, so. No, it, man, let's stop it. Someone said Grant's 6'7? Well, he mm-hmm. played like he's 6'5. He's like 6'5. No, he's 6'3. He's 6'3. Damn. 6'7 six, here. I said 6'4. You said 6'5. You say 6'3. Just. Let's just say he's not, he's not <laughs> power forward height. How about that? Yeah. He's and he average an eight. He's not the position he's supposed to be playing. He's supposed to, shit, do y'all know Shea is bigger than him? <laughs> Luca's bigger than him. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> like the point guard, LaMelo's bigger than him. Let's just, let's go, go there right quick. Listen at 6'6", six, six, though, so I respect him. 6'6"? Six, six? As you guys know, you get the physical, you can change the height on there. Charles was listed at 6'6", six, six, Barkley. Oh, yeah, but I've seen him, man. He's, he's, he's a good guy. Playing shoes, though. Who's just on TV with him that shoes. made him look real short? Was that LaMelo? Who's the, uh, with Barkley? Is it Charles Barkley? Shit. Oh, no, it was Luca. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Luca. yeah. <laughs> Charles Barkley looked tiny next to When you see all them dudes stand up... Yeah. yeah. Damn, damn, Sean. Ooh, you about you about six foot four both ways. This, this, this. So you talking about you're your square. time? <laughs> <laughs> Got the same dimension. Shit. <laughs> SpongeBob uh, SquarePants. Nah. <laughs> we're not talking about oh, you, Charles. Oh, Bonnie on the show. Guys. Said, we're not talking about Charles himself. We're just talking about the idea of <laughs> comparison. This is this is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo code Gil that will match your first deposit up to one hundred dollars. I just felt like a good moment to remind you guys uh, to help support Underdog Fantasy. Oh, shit. Well, Gil, during your time with the Woods, you talk about the the relationship you have within owner A. Poland, right, and your ability now just to go directly to him mm-hmm. to get things done. Uh, do stars need to foster those relationships more with owners? So they can supersede and, and go above the front office. I mean, if you if you're a businessman, if you if you have you if you're talking about brands and you are a brand, you want the relationship with the man who write that check, mm-hmm. right? You know, you know, uh, you want to get through all the red tape. Like I ain't got time to be negotiating. I want to talk to him over there. Hey, how you doing? How's the wife? How's the kids? Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> right, what you doing and that's, Tuesday? <laughs> and that's and that's you know where the relationship is. That's a guy who who gives the okay, right? No matter what relationship you have with the general manager, the dude that write the check is the the man that write the check, right? Um, you just a number cruncher, you know. You got this, so you know if your relationship with the guy who write the check is is you know solid, then there's really yeah. there's really nothing stopping you from you know getting to where you need to get to. Yeah. And obviously, Mark Cuban's still running basketball operations and sold the Mavs, but it seems like that's the relationship I want to have more than with the GM. Like, yo, yeah. give me some bodies, Mark. No, but Mark Cuban different, though. Yeah, he was always He always so, yeah. Like, we don't even know who the Who was the general manager? Yeah, who, yeah. You know, Nobody remember who the general manager there under, under Mark Cuban. Under Mark Cuban, yeah. Nico Harrison. Well, that's oh, Nico? That's yeah. now. Oh, shit, Mike. That's oh, now. that's Nick? Nico. Well, Nico, Nico is now. We're talking about before. before. Back in the day, yeah, yeah. yeah Nico's the man. That's the, Nico's Nico the man. Is, yeah, Nico is, yeah. But, yeah, you say that that's the move. But how tough is it when you got an owner who maybe isn't in line and in touch with the team like a Cuban is that don't really know what the fuck's going on? That's frustrating. <laughs> that's, the, that's the other side of it. Yeah. I mean, you, you mean like the... Uh, the holes of the NBA, the Clippers? Hmm? The, the before? Oh, Donald Sterling, yes. Yeah, you're, you're your coach, right? That was your coach? I mean, your owner back then. Yeah, he was owner. That yeah, was yeah, yeah. insane. Yeah, he owned the team. Yeah. Yeah. That was, see, that was owner who didn't really understand. Yes. He didn't want to pay for athletic tape. Like, my pop played with him in the 80s. Yeah. It was a, they were practicing at the YMCA. Wow. Marcellus Wiley got mad at me because I called them the, the holes, right? Like, because I called them the hoes, and he think I called them a hoes because they didn't win championship. I was saying, I, I call you hoes because they was treating that team like a whole house. 
right? I draft you, get a little bit in, and get you on about your way. That's three years. Huh? Three years, right? Every was, free, every yeah. guy they drafted, no matter what, three years. No, no. Four, three years. No. Leave, leave they, weren't wet. Picking up, they weren't picking up no player option <laughs> for the fourth year, none nope. of that shit. Well, I got to pay you. Three Ooh. years and gone. Your rookie That's deal? Donald Sterling ran the team. Yeah. Three years. No matter your, who you were, the highest deal. paid player was the rookie. Their, whatever their pick was, or you ever got the number one pick, come on in. Yeah. Get on out. Damn. Uh, he never paid nobody big money, so. Um, yeah, they was in the lottery damn near every year. Every year. So he got into the whole game. He had loaned uh, Dr. Jerry Buss some bread to buy the Lakers, saw the Lakers' success they had, thought he could do the same thing, then realized he actually had to spend money after that trying to build a good team. Was like, nah, I can make more bread with a loser. Yep. Mm -hmm. Being in L.A., that's yeah. what I can make. But that's what I'm saying. That's why the hoes. Right when you look when you look and type in worst fran sports franchises in North America <laughs> in the last thirty years, Clippers are gonna be number one. Mm. Hoes. Yeah. And they've been listen. And they been great for the last ten years, twelve years. When did that? When did you step down, Donald Sterling? How long ago was that? Two thousand fourteen, maybe. 15? Was it a fourteen playoff? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's a. Shout out yeah, I mean, they got a new owner, but I mean, you still the stench is still there. I mean, right. there's nothing you can do, right? You're the only NBA franchise that don't have your own arena, right? That means you got to sleep in somebody else's bed. But, oh, they got the Intuit Dome coming. When? But, uh, th next season. So this year, what are you? Hmm? This year, what are you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you stay, you're staying a squatter. Women of the night. Staying, yeah. but I staying, think in my, people, staying in my bed. A lot of people don't understand about that sale was that his wife like still got tickets, still got to be a part of the team, so you're never quite going to get rid of that stench. Because she, she was doing a lot of foul no matter, shit. I, well. what, what, what did Drake say? No matter if you clean up her eyes. Oh, no, no. That was, uh, that was uh, what's the name? Who said you can clean you can clean her for IG, but the stench is still on her. Yeah, yeah I'm a square. No matter what you do with the Clippers, it's still going to smell them. So, keeping this thing moving, we have to talk about uh, LeBron's past that wasn't a pass, uh, that it might actually have been a pass. So, <laughs> did he get assist for it? Hell yeah. He, he, he did not. He did not. So, this has become the basketball what? version of the blue dress, white dress debate. So, that's one angle, Gil, but then you look at it from oh. this angle. His face said it wasn't. So it was yeah. initially ruled an assist, uh, was quickly changed. Wait, what? His Wait. face said it so wasn't an assist. Pala, can we see that one more time, please? I'm mm -hmm. I'll give you both angles. So from this angle, it looks like it. a dime. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. But His this face angle. said it's not an assist. It. Yeah. But I thought he was just trying to fake out Aaron. No, not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you drop a dime like that, nigga, you're going to be like, you're going to do some shit they be doing. Right. Guard, like, Hold on, man. His reaction said it wasn't. Okay, go, like, but he down. like... His right Watch his reaction. Like kinda... Watch his reaction, though. I know the reaction. But he's just trying to sell it to Aaron Gordon. Like, oh, that shit went That's what I said. It looked look, like. Look at it. He thought the ball went up. Oh. Okay. I thought. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I'm. Yeah. He I thought was the thinking. Ball went no, up. I, I, I. It looked like he's like, oh shit, did I miss throw it somewhere? No, but it no. did look like he followed through with the pass. But look that at his reaction, looks though. Not no, like listen, pass. yo. The first angle looked like yeah. pass. If he drop a dime like that, you don't think he's gonna celebrate it? Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, but I mean, they did not in. Huh? No, they were looked, I mean, no. I, I thought it looked like it came out it. and he thought the shit went somewhere else, but it went he, straight to him. He, he dropped the, he missed he the dropped ball. He missed the ball. He missed the ball. He missed the ball. He thought it would just look at his Wait, reaction. And you don't get an assist for that? No. Yeah, you do. The ball touched my hands. He didn't pass it. That's the argument I would have made, yo, but <laughs> I'm a LeBron stand. What is the definition? The ball touched my hands, so that isn't. Or an assist. So who gets the assist? Nobody. Nobody. It's a loose ball. It's a loose ball. That's what, that's what was baffling to me, though, because even if you want to say he fumbled it or he didn't, both his hands, it both still had the same As long as it touched pass. my hand, it should be an, should be an, an assist. assist. So would you want the turnover if the bitch went out of bounds? The, he would have got the turnover if it would, went out of bounds. It would have been the person who no, threw the it. the person who threw it would have got a turnover for missing a pass. But yeah. here's my question. Yeah. Ball Once hit, it touched my hands, it's... Ball hits his hands and goes in the basket. He gets, gets two the, points. Who gets the two points? He does. This is the same thing. He gets the and two points, and the guy who passed it will get the assist. Well, I know someone betting on that game was sick. About well, I'm just that. like, yeah. his reaction said it was a mistake. I know, I mean, that's, <laughs> I know, I mean, okay, let's say a mistake, but the fact that it touched his hand I'm last, saying. it should be an assist, right? So, look, granted that they give motherfuckers two dribbles when they throw it to him now, and that's an assist. Two dribbles and, and a yeah, motherfucking an, move. And that's an assist. I watched this shit the other day and I thought about you. I didn't know I, that. I watched this shit in real time. Uh -huh. Motherfucker threw the bitch up. He took two dribbles going to the basket and motherfucker. Like, I'm like, come on, man. <laughs>
Did it used to, it used to be one game. dribble? How, uh, what, what was the criteria for assists back in when y'all were playing? It's, okay, so it's supposed to be lead to a shot. Okay. Right? right? So if I pass it to you and you shot it or dribbled one and shot it, then yeah. But now you'll see a pass go up, they'll catch it, hit a dude with a crossover, a spin, get to the basket, euro to the basket, and, that's an and they'll still credit that as an assist. Yeah. Right, dude, you just did three moves after I threw you the ball. And that's what I'd be like, then this is what makes me value like someone like Magic in them, right? And I'm like, well, damn, if you average 15 assists, 13 assists with, with one dribble and you had to score, what the fuck would you average today? Like 20. You know, so I do, I do have the fight with myself on yeah. numbers like that. Like, if y'all was getting assists when you, nigga, you gotta shoot, shoot it, yeah. and now you get, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Nickelodeon. Oh, I was about to say, you, you, you just do the Nickelodeon. <laughs> you know? I'm like, man, they would have had, like, damn. <laughs> no, I, so, I, I forgot when it was. I tweeted, I was like, you get two dribbles for an assist? <laughs> and people was on my ass. I was like, I didn't. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know that. Yeah, that wasn't a thing. That's never yeah, been a thing. You know. I'm very active on the Underdog Fantasy app. I do do assist pickup sometimes. It's always refreshing for me to watch. But I wasn't a dime then look. Oh, it was. There we go. Yeah, Give me then at home, it, it kind of weird. Have you ever you ever looked at somebody's home assist or somebody's way assist? Yeah, somebody. Yeah, that shit is crazy. It's like Steve Nash, yeah. 15, 17. At home. Yeah, yeah, nine and seven on the road. <laughs> Equal out, 11. Like, damn. Somebody need to triple-double. Car Anthony Town needed a triple double recently. Was it him or somebody? Needed, and it was a bullshit pass. And uh -huh. I'm like, come on, man. Like, uh -huh. he hunted the ball out, made sure. It was like, dude made two drip. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, come on, man. And he getting an assist on that. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm a scorekeeper, I, <laughs> listen. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> if I'm a scorekeeper, dog, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. But you know what I mean? There's just some things that. You know, you know, my guy over here got 60, and then the hell you got eight points for? You don't need all eight of these. <laughs> you don't need all eight. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and take four off you, and now he got 64. <laughs> Fired immediately. Like, what? Ain't nobody going to complain about this. That's, that's high school stat keeping in a nutshell. Yeah, hell yeah, no. Everybody's thinking how shit. I feel I ain't about gonna lie, you know, have, Come on, everybody. You know, like somebody be like, I thought I had seven assists. You had five. I gave two to him. <laughs> hey, that's, I had a teammate one time. He was checking the box. He's like, who stole my assist? <laughs> yeah. I ain't gave you two of mine. But so for what it's worth, LeBron uh, hopped on Twitter to let it be known that he actually meant to tip that ball to AD. He tweeted the following. He said, after all this time, I'm still proving them wrong. I mean, you would think they know by now, but you know when it comes to me. Uh, the tweet also included a video of some of LeBron's greatest passes, including other passes that look like they may or may not have been accidental. <laughs> so we're, we're going to do a oh, game of... Please. Cap. We're going to do a game of facts or caps. Cap. Okay, we're doing a game of facts or cap. So LeBron intentionally tipped that pass to AD, facts or cap. Kane, we already got your response. Cap. Because your reaction told me that you didn't mean to do that, dog. <laughs> Great like, actor though, train no, wreck, no, space jam. No, I'm just popping on like, Twitter to try we, to convince. Yeah, we, we're that. talking about someone that celebrates a lot of shit that he does out there. Mm -hmm. He is his biggest fucking cheerleader. Rightfully so, he's great at the game of basketball. But that was a fucking accident, bro. Let's stop it. It touched my hand. Yeah, it was on purpose. Okay. Yeah, so good. Okay. We got a fax from you. You see me do this? <laughs> Where it goes after that? <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> Cap for sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I mean, oh, you say cap, Lexi. Yeah. Oh, why? You're Sparks. But it's because it's Sparks a, and Lakers got to team up. Game. Stick because, together. I'm because her I'm eyes ain't. Smart. She ain't. She ain't <laughs> believing what y'all saying. She she believe in her eyes. Ask me. And his reaction been, was that, too. oh shit. Ooh. Was it a blue dress or was it a, yeah. a white dress? That'll tell me everything. I don't even remember. I think I saw white. Ooh, okay. That, that dress, the the color one that was confusing everybody back. Yeah. Uh. I think I saw a white dress. Okay. I don't know, but him going on Twitter to double down kind of was like, all right. <laughs>
And I was wondering when it happened. I'm like, damn, LeBron's probably gonna have to hop on Twitter and he's gonna you say did? yay or nay. I was just wondering, like, all right, you know, too many people were talking about it because I put up. It's not like know. he said it. Then y'all know me. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know me, goddamn it. Y'all know what I do. I can't believe y'all still challenge me by now. But he, he basically quote tweeted. Over an assist, like <laughs> it wasn't like a shot or a buzzer. It was. A he he quote tweeted a video from LBJ history that started with that play and basically said it was intentional, and then showed a bunch of other assists that LeBron's had throughout his career. So he was he funny. more or less validating, but. No, he has had some dimes throughout his career, absolutely, but that was not one of them. So, <laughs> so the dress was black or blue, so she's seen white. No, it was blue or white. That was the. It says black or blue. Oh. The dress was black and blue, or it was white and gold. Oh I yeah, white and gold. The two options. I think I saw white and gold. Like, I, I have never seen white and gold. I've only seen blue the whole time. What does this? What? What? What are we? What is the? I'm just saying that's the. the is there the, something the, wrong with like people's brains if they see? Yeah. Some people color. saw LeBron pass. Some people said it was. An accident. If, if you've seen white and gold, what does that mean? <laughs> Are you trusting the chat to vision. give you a... I got 2020 vision. Are you trusting the chat to give you an honest assessment? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What did they say? Just call your local doctor is what they're saying. Just go I ahead. got perfect vision. Come okay, on now. Just... So when it comes to LeBron intentionally diming AD. Stop the cap. <laughs> I will have you know that our chat came through. Uh, very fine, studious people understand the game, understood what LeBron was trying to accomplish. 55% said it was a pass. 45% said not a pass chat. It wasn't, was, it was, was it on purpose? So like technically it was a pass, but did he need to do it? No. But we don't know. Still a pass. We got a lot of New Yorkers on in the chat, so we, we had a lot of Timberland booty emojis the other day. His reaction told me otherwise. <laughs> he looked fucking up. Mm. <laughs> he was, fucked at the ball go. Yeah. He was faking right, out right. Aaron Gordon. Yeah, he, he the old shit. For those oh, familiar with it. LeBron's acting skills in Train Wreck, Space Jam 2, I thought he was just selling the play. I loved him in Train Wreck. Very, you know, Space quality Jam, acting. Much. He was great in Train Wreck. House party, you know, the, <laughs> just left some things to be desired. But. Let's head back east, uh, talk a little bit about these Bucks. Uh, Doc Rivers here in Milwaukee hasn't given Bucks fans much reason for optimism <laughs> after the team's 2-5 start, but landing Pat Bev at the trade deadline should help make the team better as they make their push to the playoffs. So on his podcast recently, uh, Bev broke down the trade what he was so and what he was told crazy. by Sixers president Daryl Morey and then what actually happened. So we playing in Denver, and I hit Daryl Morey with the Hey, I'm getting traded. <laughs> you know. No, not you. No, of course not. So he's a liar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you got to think? You feel me? Like, you know, it's probably a bigger move that's about to happen. The uncertainty if, you know, you want to win right now. You know, a player like me, I want to win right now. So, and I get a chance to be the dot, too. And my coach Rex. Ooh, it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. I can't wait. <laughs> I love this era of athletes. Yeah, a lot of people frown on uh, athletes doing their own podcast. I really appreciate it. Trade news. I really appreciate it. Yeah, he broke the story. They did the whole the 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 scoreboard. Yeah. He was on there with Woj and Sean. So Daryl uh, more acknowledged that the conversation did happen, but he saw Pat Bev's minutes declining. Wanted to give him a chance to play a bigger role. That was his. Way of salvaging that. So just how, wait. How is that salvaging? Basically saying, you know, I, I told you I wasn't going to trade you, but then I really thought about it, and I wanted you to have a better opportunity, so I had to change my mind. Better opportunity. I had to change my mind an hour hour later. <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> I, was, I ain't gotten the text back yet, so I didn't know <laughs> if it was going to go through or not. So, uh, what, do you, what do you guys think about Pat Bev's comments about Maury, and does the basketball world owe Harden an apology for putting Maury on blast this summer? Um. When it comes to Pat Bev, I mean, you know, it, it shows you, like, because Norris said the same thing, right? Told him, oh, no, we're not going to trade you, and then they traded you. Um, you know, so, you know, obviously, a business is a business. You can't take what they're going to say worth a grain of salt. Um, and that's just the irony of it, right? You know, no matter what happens, you know, how they treat you, when you start taking, you know, your career in your own hands, they're going to look and frown upon you, right? Um, if you ask for a trade, 
you the bad guy. If they tell you, no, nah, we're not going to trade you, you tell your family we're not getting traded, then your ass is out of there, you know, it's okay. It's, it's all in, in fair play. You know, I think that Pat Bev don't care because he went into a better situation. So, you know, with himself, you know, it's like, okay, you know, and beads down, shit, we ain't winning, and then you trade me the bucks to give me a chance to, you know, try to win the championship? Fuck yeah. So to him, this is a positive for someone like him because he's in a better situation when it comes to the opportunity of trying to win a championship. I like the fact that he said, yeah, I get to play with Doc, which he's the first person that's happy to play with Doc. But then he said, my coach Rex, right? Like, oh, so Doc ain't your coach? <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm getting to play with Doc. But I get to play with my coach Rex. So, you know, whoever, you know, who he's talking about is there. He's more excited about playing and playing for that guy than it was. So, Mr. Glenn. So we'll still see what's, what's going on with the Sixers, the MB situation, whether he comes back and plays. Man, play that shit's season. old. Come back, but I'm asking you, Gil, is, is, is no, you the Buck situation a better situation than the Sixers situation? For Pat Bev? For Pat Bev? Yeah. Like who's, and we be talking about... Who's going to advance like further in the playoffs? Pat Bev going to go out there and play defense. Okay. At least. The least he'll do. So... We talked about Pat Bev having experience with Doc Rivers. Uh, they spent three seasons together with the Clippers. Pat is already showing how comfortable he is with the Bucks' new head coach and the team. It was a clip we surface last week. The advantages that he has. <laughs> him barking at dude. Him on the clipboard. <laughs> the I'm the captain now. It's like he's been here for five months already oh, instead of man. five. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Doc, give me that. You're not a coach. Uh. <laughs> so let me show you what you're supposed to be. That's crazy. First game, that is insane. Yo, oh, that's... The clipboard. Get the clipboard. He took that shit. Doc, Doc give me this shit. Here you go. Give me this shit. You don't, know, you don't know what you're doing. You know, just like the old days. Give me this shit. <laughs> so we going to... You're just supposed like to be down. <laughs> but let's talk about just the other side of it. How much would you like it if someone was barking at you after being on the team for less I'm than 36 just... hours? A, 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 <laughs> well, you just got here. <laughs> I mean, whatever the intent. I mean, it's the intentions, right? I mean, you know, um, players respect intentions. If you're trying to, if you're telling me that this is where I need to be or something, I'm gonna look, right? And you know, um, even if I don't fuck with you as a player, I'm gonna look and see what you're talking about, and I might wave that shit off and then really think about, okay, this makes sense, and not give you the credit, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. for giving it to me, but I might do it. Um, other than that, for the most part, man, unless you're just a dude that just don't listen hard-headed, really think you above everybody, for the most part, we listen to what each other's saying. Even if we don't apply it or we pretend we ain't listening to the shit, we hear you. <laughs> can, can you, how would you feel if you were in that situation? No, his, coming, his intent is always to help. So whether you have long-term, short-term, I'm pretty sure what he was telling Brooke Lopez in that moment could have been beneficial to him. What is something that he saw? Um, you get a different um, point of vantage point when you're sitting on the bench. Mm -hmm. um, you get to see certain things. So, um, yeah, I'm, it is what it is, man. He's Pat has been vocal in every place he's been. Mm -hmm. Brooke Lopez knows that he's been around the NBA just as long, so <laughs> he knows he has a fucking television. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So and so he, he and Pat is who he is, man. So you either you, either you gonna love him or he gonna rub you the wrong way. It's one of it's, it's, there. There's no in between with with that. And that's a that's a, that'd be a problem for just hoopers. If yeah. he rubs you the wrong way, we look at you like, uh, so you don't <clears throat> learn because it's not like he's telling you something that's going against. It's going again, like it's putting you in some type of danger. It's not like he's saying, yo, we're going to go to the club, get drunk. Or, dude, he's telling you, like he's trying to, okay. it, it, it's, even if it's, just certain shit he's trying to guide you and make you it, a little to, bit better. To certain shit, like he, he gone now. I can say, KJ told me the nigga asked KJ why he ain't run to the scores table. Like, dude, you're the only <laughs> person that do that, Pat. <laughs> Doing the regular, it ain't like he hurry up and called your name. Uh-huh. Right, anytime he call your name, you run to the score table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the only person in the NBA that does that. Like that's more high school. Ain't nobody college. fucking running to the score. Like if it's a hurry up situation, hurry up and go in, then yeah, I'm gonna run. Of course. Like quick time. Oh shit, I, I, Gil, go. 
But, but, but the, okay, I would get why he would say that because think about his position where he's coming from. Right? I understand he's, it. He's not coming from the number one pick where you oh, no. can walk your uh, way. No, but I get it. No, but I'm, I've never seen people. Pattis yeah. Beverly is the only person that I've ever seen and watching the game that every single time his name is called because it's the it's the illusion of. Like think about the. the I'm excited game. to go in. Yeah, he's playing the he's playing the game within the game. I understand and that's that. Why he's telling KJ, look, when they call your name, you look excited. It ain't like he giving him a fuck you stroll. He I just know, but, like okay, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna do my. But I'm saying like from him, like I'm saying like so, so KJ got to so so you know, with the KJ defense, cause so KJ got to run, stop and get his mouthpiece, <laughs> then yeah. run back to school like this. No, but that's what he's thinking. He's saying like when you when you look like you ready to go in yeah. to them, it looks like. Oh shit! He, he he ready to play going in. It's the it's the. I get that. It's the, it's I understand the illusion. that. Illusion. I understand that. That's but that like, to my point, that Patrick Beverly is the only person in the NBA that does it <laughs> consistently. Yeah. Right. Whether it's a quick situation or not, his time he just that's yeah, ain't nobody else doing. Have you ran to this course have we yet? Huh? KJ. Did you hear what I just said? There's <laughs> 400. There's 450 players in the NBA. He's never. He never hit it. Only one. There's 450 <laughs> players in the NBA. The other, the other 449 guys. What? I've. Have you? Nah. Seen? So no, no, I I'm mean, glad y'all say that because they, the they be they be kind of tweaking on us about that shit. We're not running to the score. No, no, no. When I was like, when I was somebody was like, yo, you run to the table. Like he said, I used to. When I first, when I was first starting, you one of the players was like, "Yo, run oh, to yeah, the table." Oh yeah, when you're young, you I understand that. I get like that. You trying to get in? I understand that. I get you that. You walking like you, you, you been here before. Like, like in you. your situation, yeah, I understand hey, that. Hey, I no, get that. Someone was like, <laughs> "You, I be damned, you want to walk slowly." And then he changed his mind between the time to time. You get there, you run past him like. Phew. <laughs> oh, I'm with it. No, I, I, I'm not so, saying. So. That, listen, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with the way Pat Beverly handles his. That, mm -hmm. Fine, great. That's who you are. But you can't expect the next person to do that shit. So don't... That's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Like, just because that's who you are, you can't expect somebody who is in year four mm -hmm. to, like... No, he's not a rookie. Right, like, not, he's not a rookie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, no, he's not... Of course he wants to play, absolutely. He's excited about going to the game, absolutely. But you're the only person, so don't try to get me... Like, that. that's all I'm saying. Like, that's your thing, dude. Okay, cool, don't... <laughs> do you? I, fine, like, I'm not telling you to walk. Uh, like, why do you have a problem with me? Well, because you run. I can come to you. Hey, Pat, I think you should walk to the score state. Mm -hmm. Like, that's it's the same fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you probably police yourself. That he did that to himself because he, he can never walk. People would be like, oh, he's not ready to go. He ain't. Like, like, you can police yourself. I'm all with that. If KJ is not doing something else that's detrimental to the team, you correct him. I'm all for it. If he, you think you helping him out in a pick and roll or a coverage or, or whatever the case, cool. I'm all. Do what the fuck you do, Pat. Bev, I'm all for it. But don't try to. I feel like it was, it it was, was a backfire hilarious. on the other side, though, because if you run it too hard, it might look like you're undermining the coach. You know, like, you know, you're, just, you're trying to make an ass of the coach trying to oh, spin yeah. on the court like that. Like, I mean, what you oh, yeah, no, he, no, but that's his thing, though. No, he does it every time. I mean, and that's, times he's playing the game. Coach, I get it. And blow, hey, no, 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 we're going uh, to just let them play it out. Fuck! <laughs> Should have got that. Hey, man, I saw one of my teammates do that. They called her name, and she was just... Yeah. <laughs> He said, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, if, 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 if it's that movement, like, if, if he giving him that, yeah, yeah, that's a problem. He said, Absolutely, nah, that's never it. mind. Like, that's like, a problem. Damn, bro. Right? That's it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> For those of us who are... Like, if I saw, like, can I, I watched the game, and I just see KJ's reaction to certain things. I was the cameras on him. I said, what did Pat say to you? <laughs> like, I just saw it. I just saw it, right? Uh -huh. Cause we, and I was like, oh. <laughs> That's his thing. Okay, cool. Not a problem. But it's funny. It's uh, Pat is gonna be who he is. Yeah, for sure. And that's why he has been in NBA for long as he has been, because he is that. Yeah. He's that energy. He's that voice that that coaches need in the locker room and on the bench and situations like that. I'm pretty sure whatever he was telling me. He, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Like, we said. like you said, as long yeah. as it comes from a good place. Yeah, like him ha having him be run extra sprints and so all that shit is who he is. I'm with it. It's it's for the betterment of the unit. But have you uh, let's talk about the other side. <laughs> right? of that. Have y'all ever had a player <laughs> who didn't know what the fuck they were talking about, trying to trying to tell y'all that, and you got to look at them with a straight face and act like you listening to what they're saying? Sometimes. Coaches. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I mean no, like like assistant. I'm, you know, he's my he's my favorite coach, the assistant coach. It was our it was like my first year. Uh, Hub. Hub was like you know um. 
you know, you need to pass the ball around a little bit more. You know, you, you just get in the game and, you know, you, as soon as you got in, you took a shot. And then, you know, you came down past it. Then the next time you came down, took a shot, right? And the, the problem is I'm three for three, right? So, you know, what he's saying, don't register shit he's saying. And he's just talking, talking, I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then reality kicked in. Hey, how much you averaged? He's like, what do you mean? When you played, how much did you average? He was like, uh, like, again, yeah, for your career. He was like, uh, nine. Okay, if I want to average nine, I'll listen to what you're saying, okay? <laughs> but I don't want to average nine. I want to average like 20-something, okay? So whatever you're saying, I don't even want to listen to it right now. <laughs> right? So if you tell me to pass, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to do the opposite of you because whatever is going to your brain led to nine. <laughs> 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 no, no, some assistants really just be trying to say stuff so they can feel like they <laughs> like they doing, doing their, their job. job. Absolutely, but all the time. sometimes it's just like... Yeah. All right, bro. <laughs> like, it was just, it just, it was just right. so weird. I just, yeah. but he became my favorite coach because so then just not. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Do you ever have a moment where the assistants, where the head coach says something, and you and the assistant both know that the head coach don't know what the fuck they're talking about? Mm -hmm. and you have to. All the time. Is it a look? Is it a just like? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what you want me. Coach be like, yeah, you need to go down and do this, and you look at the assistant coach and be like, <laughs> like, shoot that shit, shoot, shoot that shit, shoot that shit. <laughs> These are all things I'm into. <laughs> hey, I know coaches be mad. Like, coaches be like, all right, break. And then one uh, assistant coach come to, hey, uh, so well, uh, one, two, two, two. Hey, what'd he say? He ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Not what we turn Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't uh, what I call. <laughs> quickly, since we're talking about the Bucks, uh, we got to discuss Giannis' big brother doing work. Uh, the Nassis pulled out the sham guy. <laughs> Yeah. On the Hornets. Uh. After the game, took some time to reflect reflect on the play, tweeting, when I move, you move. So just question for you guys. If the Nassis, <laughs> if the Nassis, <laughs> shout out Ludacris. <laughs> okay, hold on, man. Go, go, do you, do okay. you. Okay. Do you. You got the research out. Hold on. Do you. What are you looking for? You don't got the notebook no more. Who is that against? The, oh. the Hornets. 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 When I gave my 36 points. But uh, if the Nassis Dang. is doing the sham god against your team, what does that say about your team? Mm. Trash. Yeah, ain't got no heart. Shaw don't got no heart anyway, so. Grant Williams may come, come in and, yo, the Nassim, yeah, or he may get a couple lean port on his head. It'll be one or the other. That like, team, I don't know he what been they been waiting to do. He been waiting to do those two moves. The Sham God and the Steve Smith. He been waiting to do them two. He bought them bitches out together. <laughs> Good wait. I'm going to get this opportunity again. Good I'm going to them both at the same time. You know, like, the, the only thing that makes me laugh with him is... <laughs> it's like when he, he gets so excited, when he gets in, it's like he only wants... It's like... Well, I only play, like, one minute, 30 seconds, but when I do something, I want to get make a sports center. Yes. Yeah. That's fair. Right? It's like everything we see, every highlight we see him, he's trying some shit. It's not like, he ain't trying to just get regular buckets at all. Yeah. He Trying's gets in, sports it's, center. it's sports center time. And then, uh, it's admirable, honestly. Uh, I know a lot of people feel it. With a lot because of it, energy. That's what I said, Loki. Yeah. Like when you see the moves he's trying, you be sitting there like, that wasn't that bad, though. Yeah. Right? Like, and it wasn't that bad. Like, you, you. If he would just gave me the sham god and went into it, I would have been like, that was dope. But he just he had to, yeah, he going. just ruined it. It's like his package. It's just like, it, like, I want, to be honest, I want to see him actually just play a game and see what he kind of, to see if he got something. You want him to start? No, 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 I'm, no. Oh. I don't want to play, what? like, real game wanna, minutes. That's what like, I, mean. I want to. He always in, like, Like, go to him and say, hey, listen, hold on. Before you, wait, <laughs> I'm going to put you in. Before you get in, <laughs> this is not the end one fucking tour, okay? <laughs> this ain't the end tour. This ain't the end one tour. You are not sham guy. You are none of them. Go out there and just play regular basketball so I can really, because when I get out there and you get out there and you sham God and I'm like, oh, here come the circus. <laughs> right? You know, that's what it looks like. It's fun. It's fun to us because when he gets in, he's going to give, he give you one. He's going to give you one or he's going to try. I just want to see if he actually knows how to play basketball for the most part. Well, as our producers pointed out, uh, if the Nassis is doing anything versus your team, it means you're either won or lost by 30 plus. 
<laughs> one or the other. Yeah, like, Facts. I want to put him in our the, resident our black man. Like, he's the last person I could be on. It's like it's like Lance Stevenson. When you get in the game and you get in the game against them, you I know you sitting like, oh shit, because you already know they're about to be on demon time. Yeah. Right, they ain't no just get a little feel in. So Lance is gonna be sitting there trying to hit you with some shit, score, hit you with the guitar. Like this. it's thirty seconds. <laughs> You've been here for forty-two seconds. Forty-two seconds. I've been here with three moves. Yeah, I've been three here with three celebrations. You're gonna blow my ear a couple times. Yo. <laughs> God bless the NASA. No, no, that's what I said. There's certain players that that, yeah, that you still get it again. again You're like, no, not not no. Please not play now. this move again, man. Let me see this. Not again. now. Can, can we see the Thanasis? <laughs> Not right now, Vanessa. Yeah. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Two. Like, come on, hey, now. Like, come, come on, now. Like, I do not want to go. And then look at this there to bench that. Hey, like, he offer his brother. He's just approval. taking too far, man. Just for Giannis, man. He's you are not trading me. Me and Giannis are a package. Far, Him, Lance, um. Oh, shit. Uh, franchise. Mm. Right, uh, Jordan Poole. <laughs> Jordan Poole, yeah, Jordan Poole. As soon as you get in the game, you be like, come on, don't be on this today, not today. Just, just, we got two minutes. <laughs> I don't, let me get through two minutes. Maybe I didn't, ah, ah. <laughs> no, come on, man, I didn't warm up for this shit. <laughs> and the cameras be ready because they know. Yeah, I, I got, got I, had guard, got that. I had to guard, I had to guard Moochie Norris. Oh, Moochie, oh, yeah. I, I had to guard Moochie Norris and mm -hmm. got in the game. You know he's coming. And coach told me, hey, don't jump on his hesitation. It's coming. After I done jumped three times, right? And three, two, Hands up. one. I'm like, oh, shit, he got to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> jump, and he just laughed at me. <laughs> Rolled the ball, got the, got the uh, shot clock violation. <laughs> he purposely oh, got the shot clock violation for me to jump because coach, Coach was like, don't jump. Stay down. Oh, he heard it? Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. It hit me with it. Ha! It's coming. It got and stuff. I flew. Yeah. <laughs> he just laughed and oh, just rolled the ball. Up I was like, his, oh. That's funny. Uh, you gonna give you that hands yeah, up? Yeah, gonna give me that hands up. Like, boom, there's just some players just... <laughs> that's what I said. It's just like, every time I see Moochie, like, no, I'm not. I, yeah. Can someone else guard him? No. <laughs> he just, he's just out here just to embarrass people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Moochie Norris. Shout out hey, to Thanasis. Thanasis is growing on me, man. He's, he's enjoying I, I, the water. He's Thanasis. growing on me. And so does Fungus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I want to see this. I want to see Thanasis do this move around the world. Like, you come in and then throw the... Yeah. If he, hits, he might try. If he hits him and wants you to take the jersey off, he bounces. No, nah, you can't do that one. But the, the round, <laughs> but, but, around the, off, yeah. but around the body, if he pull one of those out, I'm oh man. Break. If he get I it off, I got to get, to get me at the NASA jersey. <laughs> On the old school, act like you're gonna pass to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one. Make a nigga clap. Like, like he just like he just right? like that's just, like he just got volume one of the end one. <laughs> he got like the he green just got, no, he, VHS. Hey, hey, brother. Look, look, look what I'm going to do. If I get in, look what I'm going to do. I wonder if him and Giannis are talking action about it. That is insane. He's going to sit there and do one of these. <laughs> you not going to trade me. The spin on the floor, <laughs> cross. Like, <laughs> like oh, this is, oh, this is 99 all over again. Y'all not going to trade me. Y'all not going to wave me. Gets the bulls in the corner. <laughs> hey, you think it's not? You think that's no. not coming? I feel like hey. <laughs> I love it. He made like he, like he makes you enjoy like little moments. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. He's the type of person that like somebody standing on that bitch trying to take a charge. He'll try to Vince Carter him in the Olympics. Yeah, like he thinks that way. Like, yeah. I'm finna jump over this small. Jump over, yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. and kill J both J of them. Hey, JaVale McGee on a fast break. I'm about to jump from the free throw line <laughs> while he's taking a charge. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm becoming a Thanasis fan. He makes me laugh. Yeah, he, he makes you laugh. Like, Down 30 it, like it's like one of those like like yeah. if the game like if you're about to lead the game and then Thanasis comes in. You sit down. You know, hold, hold on, hold on. Let's I got see. 12 minutes. I got 12 minutes. Let me just... <laughs> well, let's talk some, some serious basketball. Um, AD pulled up the d -Lo's podcast and broke down the defensive approach to trying to break a team's will as early as possible in the game. You can really break a team in the first quarter mm -hmm. by showing them, like, nah, we can't score. Yeah. We scored 12 points in the first quarter. 
These niggas got 42, man. Yeah. It's over for Long us. Last night, right? It's you know over. what I'm saying? Like, Cook. it's over for us. We can't score. So that breaks the team then just going back and forth. Because now, if you start missing and this team don't, you can lose. Thanks. But if we locking up, it's, it's, over. it's always going to be it's a over. game. Always. So, Ken, you're a resident a defensive expert. What are your thoughts on what AD is saying? Probably not seeing a lot of it from the Lakers this season, but... Well, first and foremost, he ain't gonna be able to play no D. They don't get him a bigger fucking chair. <laughs> like, let's start there. His fucking knees up to this bitch. He's sitting that bitch's knees like this. Um, but let's let's start there. That is the issue to... with tall people Absolute, doing podcasts. Yeah, the yeah, the yeah, studio is yeah, not yeah, really I'm, equipped for that. Let's start there. But uh, nice <laughs> chair. Thank, thank you, Gil, for these nice plush couches. <laughs> Absolutely, make us look normal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, if you. This day and age, yeah, it's different. But now, nah, if you locked in defensively in the playoff game and you, a team normally scoring, what they scoring 115, 116 a night, and you hold them to 90, mm-hmm. 90, like low 90s, <laughs> yeah, you locked in defensively. <coughs> so, yeah, you can, you can take teams out of sets. You can take certain guys away that makes it impossible for, for the rest of the guys to be successful because they're not used to it. Um, but yeah, taking you out of, keep that thought. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to hear, but I'll ask you after the show. Oh, no, it's they, I, 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 who is doing that these days yeah. is, is taking teams' will defensively. I, I don't see it. So for them to have that statement and... Yeah, yeah, they competing defensively because you have to, but you got to play both sides of the ball. But I don't making teams do something different uh, and imposing your will and locking certain guys down, and they're not doing all right. that. Guys that, getting their average out this bitch. That works. I mean, it works <laughs> both ways. I mean, I remember when you know you used to hear about the Bulls and they said you know, you know, for the most part, Bulls. <clears throat> they can look at the layup line and they got players watching us and we knew they couldn't win. Right? They knew they couldn't win, so we just had to get out to a good start and realize that the game was over in the first couple minutes, right? Um, you know, so there is teams like that. There is players like that where, you know, they're so dominant that, you know, if they get going early, it takes teams out. Like, you, you can see it in their face, right? Offensively, you know, teams like... Back when we played USA, um, Suns, you know, Suns, you know, you sitting here missing shots and they sitting there just boom, 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 boom. It kind of take the spirit away. Like, or you sit there and you playing real defense and they getting shots and making shots. Um, you know, even a, even a good defensive team, you got a good defensive team and a good defensive player and no matter what he do, you scoring, he gets fucked up. Mm-hmm. The team gets fucked up. Like, y'all playing A1 defense and dudes still scoring on us. And that, you know, you can lose the first quarter where you putting out, we trapping them as this and that and that, and he just scoring and we and y'all started looking at each other. What are we going to do now? You know, mess the team, you know, uh, chemistry up. Like, Golden State, I'm pretty sure when Golden State was going 73-9, and nine, majority, of they, majority of them winning those games, they did that in the warm-up line. All they had to do is... Hit three, four threes in a row, game over. And you be sitting there like, oh. Look at that. Think about, think about when they was coming back, right? But you would see them down 20, down 25. That, Blazers. I'm pretty sure when the Blazers realized that they lost two games, when they were up they were up 20 and Golden State came back, what you think was going through their mind when they was up, up. 20? Oh, yeah, it's coming. It's going, and yeah. Clay hit a few threes. Oh, oh shit. shit. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Here we go again. Detroit Pistons, right? No matter what they was up. When that last five minutes kicked in and they started making their run, it was the mental part. Oh, shit, we lost. Here we go. God damn it, we lost. Before they even lost the game. Mm-hmm. You know, the game, even the last one when they broke it, they damn near lost that game because mentally they was already fucked up. So what he's saying is a, it's a real thing. Yeah. Sometimes I'm pretty sure anybody who fought against Mike Tyson. Yeah. Shit, for that, that 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 eight weeks you was getting ready to fight against him, you know, we are lost. <laughs> you see that first punch just, combo. Yeah. You know, you out there and you, that first swing, oh, shit. <laughs> Everybody got a game <laughs> plan. Yeah, this, take this motherfucker off. Until you get punched in the face. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like Mike, Mike said, everybody got a game plan until you get punched in the face. I mean, did you, 
I, I be thinking this, right? <laughs> There's just some men in this world, they just, you, like, everybody who fought Mike Tyson, let's just say you still alive because the gloves, the glove uh, thickness was perfect. <laughs> perfect, because some of them punches he was throwing, and you see, like, the power, the power he was coming with, like, yo, you dead in real life if he didn't have no glove mm. on. Go ask Mitch Green. Like, your whole head just, <laughs> like, I was just, woo. Like, there's just some people, like, you just be like, oh, I don't, don't there just shouldn't be a lot of people in certain sports, and, you know. Yeah. Somebody was like, yeah, you yes. would have been heavyweight. Like, you, like you, uh, what? You looked it up. Yo, uh, <laughs> yo, Mitch Green, yo, he punched him without a glove on. Yeah, that was, that was probably just one of those. He punched him without a glove not one, on. Not one of... No, no, he broke all this. Yeah. Turned him into no. a pirate. He broke all this. Yeah, see, that the was... nose, orbital bone, like one punch. And that was probably just this... him. I'm talking about that one. He, I'm talking about that one. Mike he, a sissy. Ah, ah, on Mike Tyson, punch ah, 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 ah. And that, that uppercut, ooh, 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 ooh Lord Jesus. Trust me, I saw him, listen, ooh. we was at a fight. I was at a fight a couple years ago, and Mike was sitting right here, and some dudes at the fight was just being rambunctious and shit behind Mike. Nigga, Mike, hey, mothers, you better sit. I said, we, I think y'all should sit down. Because, <laughs> listen, I'm not going to grab him. <laughs> listen, if he's starting this bitch, hey, yeah. good luck. <laughs> Box, boxers and football players, yeah. Got no, them MMA, 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 MMA. I mean, just any of that, just oh, that, yeah. that world, that world of fighting. I don't give a shit what they sound like when they calm. Just to know at any moment, <laughs> flashback can happen on your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You meet Mike Tyson in real life, very nice gentleman. Yeah, very Absolutely. Yeah. But. I, cool, I seen what he do. <laughs> he killed me. Yeah, like, I don't care how, listen, I don't give a fuck how nice he is. <laughs> but, but that's all she I heard. I know. She heard Jamie Foxx. She, 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 who pit bull is that? <laughs> she, 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 hey, boy, that motherfucker ain't got no leash. Yeah, he, nah, he, ain't looking at me to, he ain't looking at me right now, but if I say something I, he don't like, woo, she, yeah. we know the results. Mm -hmm. We was in the club in Phoenix. He asked, he asked Melo to come over, uh -huh. come talk. <laughs> we was like, all right. Melo didn't move. He was like, what? We said, what? He said, y'all niggas coming with me. <laughs> said, like, yeah, it's, it's that kind of a... <laughs> I, I hey, got Mike, a, won't you? Listen, Mike, I who? Got a, I, I do got a funny Mike Tyson story. <laughs> Gil, okay, wait, time oh, out. Gil, oh, oh, no. Gil, before you share this story, oh, he's is not going to get any of us any issues if we see Mike Tyson in these streets? He is local in the Los Angeles area. He's out here a lot. It, it shouldn't, but I'm just, the, just the, it shouldn't, okay. but just to show you how afraid okay, that's fine. regular human beings was. <laughs> so he was drunk by the bathroom, So, but he was laying on the floor, like he was just sitting on the floor of the wall and drunk. And, Nope, I, I can't say it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we'll say it after. Yeah, I, I just can't say it. I just thought about it. <laughs> yeah. I just thought about it because what he was doing was, yeah. Mike, but yeah, nah. Gilbert, I just oh, want to thank brother. you for sparing all of us because, uh, you know, you have a tendency sometimes. Yeah, let's just say men, just they, they was just looking the other way. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Mike Tyson, if you ever like to come to the arena, please pull up, bring some of those edibles. <laughs> Give us a okay. no. no. See? No. If he if he come to me, who said that? I'm pointing right over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh Gil, you well, Gil, it's funny that you say that. Actually, we have a, a guest in the neighborhood, none other than <laughs> Iron Mike Tyson. But Lexi, we, back to this uh, defense we we'll talk just for a second. Is there a time that a defense truly made you feel like you couldn't score? Um, yeah, when I, every time I played UConn, they just their scheme. Like, and I was, I don't want to say, I mean, I was significantly better than a lot of my teammates. So I just like, it was like boxing ones, a lot of trapping, whatever. It was just like, I was, it was just like suffocating. Yeah. But when a team's like locked in on a plan and they're scoring on the other end, like that's the other part. You got to get the stops and then you got to go cash out on these stops. Because sometimes you can get stops, mm -hmm. you don't cash out on the other end. You're like, we wasting all this energy to play in defense. We can't. You know, make transition layups. We can't make open shots. So that was the thing. I always, I never was able to beat UConn in college because they just were so locked in on their defensive game plan, and they would always score, like no matter what. So yeah, that was it. Was frustrating to play against. And then, and can you for yourself, obviously high level defender, uh, but was there ever a time you were on the other side of that and you, you were getting locked up by a defense? You just felt like you couldn't score. In college, should I never beat Temple? 
Like, we played them like three times when I was in school. They beat it, yeah. Were you there when Kevin Lyle was there? Mm hmm. As, uh, he was a freshman? Yeah, yeah, all of yeah. Yeah, they had, yeah, they had shit. About five bigs. Sanchez shit. Lopez or something like that? Sanchez? Pepe. Pepe. Come on, turn that bitch over. Yeah, Pepe. We're Sanchez. trapping him. He <laughs> turned his back, called timeout. <laughs> None of that shit working. <laughs> they playing that zone on our ass on the other end. But in the league, not one particular person yeah. um, had a horrible game, but I was mm, maybe, say Tim Duncan, maybe. His, his length his arm so long, um, but other than that, yeah. Team defenses, I don't, I don't remember, man. It's for sure, for sure, with us. It's a lot of basketball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> team defense is way bigger in like college. Oh, yeah, for sure. Pros, it's more one-on-one -on -one schemes. And to your point, though, when they lock you up on one side and they're getting buckets, and you see that lead, and it's just like, well, shit, we can't even score. Like, yeah, that's just. we getting into well, tonight. It's respect, they playing in boxing one, so yeah, it's a sign of respect. Boxing one stops you. It's mm -hmm. not a respect. Boxing one? In college? Yeah. UConn's boxing one. Because it was like it was like a two. Like, two, they just two. had so two. So where'd you, where'd, you, where'd you stand? I was just running around. I would bring the ball up, just run around. Then I just couldn't get, I could, sometimes I just couldn't get it back, get the ball back. But only UConn. Did, did you, you had no problems with a boxing one? No. Did you get excited when you, when you saw the boxing one coming? No, I just, I mean, I had a triangle and two. The, the two guys so were two guys guarding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boxing one, you just become a screener, right? You become, you become the picker because yeah. obviously your guy is not designed to leave you. So, you know, if you pick that outside guard, boom, yeah, yeah. right? Come off, shoot a couple of O's, and they try to switch. And then if they do switch and then you backdoor, that guard who wasn't designed to guard you, he lost you, right? You know. It's tough they do the triangle and two and the two are on you and the rest of your teammates aren't adequate enough to, to take advantage of that. So now nobody's scoring, but I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very difficult predicament yeah, nah, to be. That shit horrible, man. <laughs> that oh, triangle and two shit. Oh, yeah. Awful. We got, or you sit on, or sit on, the, got that shit sit on the baseline. Like, you know, you're, that, you're the bottom guy on this side. So what I'll do is I'll sit, I'll sit right there. So the guy guarding me and you are sitting right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I'll set a pick. Right, set a pick, let that big go out there. You go there and follow him, right? Um, once he catches it, I'll post you up. <laughs> Bucket! Yeah, see? Yeah. I wasn't posting um, people yeah. up. Yeah. So, we, so all I do is just set a pick on the bottom guy. So I just sit, sit right next to him. And they both sitting right here because they're not in a 2-3. So I make it kind of like a 2-3. Right. And then I set a pick on you and then let my guy pop out. And then now you got to be forced to pop out because my guy's not going to leave me. Yeah. And then once you pop out, I just take advantage and post up, and now it's back to. Oh, I just tell you. I started you, using stagger. Oh, yeah, you shoot it. Yeah, so I used to just. So I yeah. Offensive rebound. Yeah, so I just used to do shit. Like, <laughs> I just used to do, you know, I just looked and see how they motioned it. Boom. Yeah. I just started running off. That's when I first started using like stagger screens and stuff, because they might have been like in my face, but they weren't ever like quicker than me. Yeah, Sometimes so you, they were bigger than me, so I was just, just run until I got loose. Man, play at the. I just you just turned it into man. Play at the. Uh, Free throw line, right? Two, two. You play yeah. the free throw, catch up the free throw. Let's go. Came okay, to your point as a big man, sometimes <laughs> like, oh, guard, go ahead. I know y'all ain't yeah. making shit. Yeah, just shoot. I know exactly yeah, where this ball going. Yeah, offensive yeah. rebound, damn it. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got one last thing to, to talk about in the arena. Mostly fan. No, I'm not, just playing. Not oh, yet. Man. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Might, it might be some mostly hands. Uh, we'll see what's going on. Uh, we have a beef brewing between Mike Epps and Shannon Sharp. Uh, during a recent show, Epps went at Unk for trying to bring his name into the conversation during his legendary Cat Williams interview. That nigga Shannon Sharp called me trying to do an interview. I said, no, Medea, I ain't doing no interview. So you can sit across from me and look at my balls. I'm sit down, nigga. I thought he was going to attack Cat, that nigga there is. <laughs> the nigga shit is called Shay Shay. The nigga's telling you. <laughs> Put a wig on that nigga and tell me if that ain't motherfucking Medea's sister, nigga. <laughs> they exposing every motherfucking body. 
They got T.D. Jakes fucked up. Now that's fucked up. All that money that nigga didn't got from God, and they came out on him. So, uh, you know, naturally, uh, crazy right now. Unk was not feeling Epps playing with his name or reputation uh, and offered this response on a recent episode of Nightcap. Nigga, Say I'm my name again, and I'm going to put the, I'm gonna, and I'm going to release the DM <laughs> because yeah. you're lying. Yeah. You said I reached out to you to come on Club Shay Shay, and you a mofo lie. Now, when I, I see you, yeah. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see if you about that. Okay. I'm going to see if you want to say what you've been saying on <laughs> yeah. trying to get some jokes because yeah. you got mad because Cat Williams did what he did. Now, yeah. now when I see you, yeah. I'm going to see if you really about that. Yeah, and when I, when I, when I see you, no, 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 no. I'm going to see if him talking all that yeah. when he wore them tight-ass leather pants trying yeah. to be funny. Yeah. But I'm going to see if you're about that. Yeah. Say my name again. Now, man, be, and, hey, say, and, be like yeah. Destiny's Child and talk about say my name, say my name. <laughs> and I got something for your ass. Ah, that was round two. Now let's move on to round three. Mike Epps, uh, native of Indianapolis, <laughs> responded to Shannon, pointed out uh, that the All-Star game is in his hometown this weekend if he's really trying to see what's what. I'm not going to lie. I did DM you to get on the show. But I DM'd you to get on the show because you brought my name up when you were sitting there with Cat. And you was trying to get him to talk crazy about me, but he didn't. Okay? Now, second of all, talking about pulling up on me. You're going to be an all-star. I'm going to be at the all-star in my hometown. And I'm going to see you. All right? I'm going to see you, brother. And I'm just letting you know. I don't be doing no fighting lately. I don't do no fighting. So... You know, there's only other, one other option. If you don't fight, you do blank. Blank, 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 blank. And Ocho, you shut up and go get some <laughs> eyebrows. You looking like a whole milk dud sitting there agitating. We watched the white boy kick your ass on TV. So you shut up. And Shay Shay, you did look like Medea sitting there. You was looking zesty. I'm not saying you gay, but you was looking zesty. You look like Big Frida sitting there. You need to take them tight ass shirts off with the muscles. And that's it. <laughs> this is, this is, the, you never really want to go at a high level comedian like that. Like Cause that. they don't take it serious. Cause they're, they don't, he started serious and he got back into his comedian bag. Like, but it's going. just a game you're not going to win unless you're adequately prepared. For oh, Ocho, like. <laughs> yeah, and if I'm there. Yeah, yeah, if I'm there, whoo, we gonna get it right. <laughs> we gonna get it right, Unc. <laughs> the whole time. Ocho, <laughs> Ocho didn't know who he was talking about, what he was talking about, <laughs> but he over there gaslight. Hey, the, Ocho's the funniest the stuff. I ain't even gonna lie, that's the funniest. That's the funniest part about it, because Ocho don't know what's going on. Yeah, oh, no, no, we gonna get him. Huh? But who, who we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> but you need somebody to ride yeah. with you like that. Where are we going? Where are we doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. If you can fight, Ocho's with you. Ocho is your man that you want in your corner because, you know, he going to talk you into it, right? If you can't fight, that's the last person you want. <laughs> Absolutely. Hyping you up to get your ass whooped out there in them streets, right? This is like, now, you need somebody with some sensible sense if you can't fight. Like, hey, relax, right? I know what he said. Just relax. Unk, right? He comedian. It's all fun and games. Right, you know, take it easy, you know, DM them back or something. I had a situation like that in college. Uh, one of my teammates hit me like, yo, man, I'm about, to, I'm about to fight this dude, come pull up. So I'm like, all right, jump in the car. My other teammate called me like, you know who you're talking about, right? It was a dude by the name of Monster Loke uh, on the football team. He was like 300 pound defensive end, Samoan, like not one to be trifled with. That's yeah, who he was yeah. trying to fight? That's who he was trying And it was like, nigga, you are not about to fight this dude. <laughs> did, you, did you talk him out of it? Yo, I'm not going to fight him either. Like, yo, what's yeah, going see, on? That's but, a, but, you, but, you, you who I need, you know? But he made it sound like, oh, he's about to go down. Then my other team like, yo, you know he, he about to fight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nigga got in the car as Malcolm. Yeah. Got out as Martin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we don't need to do all this, brothers. Let's go yeah. take three brothers. Drive, <laughs> get over there driving him up by any means necessary. We'll get over this motherfucker, you know. He hop out. Marlon the King, my brother, my brother. This was the chirp day, the chirp. Beep, beep, but you know who you're talking about. Like, uh, 
<laughs> Let's just be peaceful. All right, we got to call no, you. I, no, I like when he said, yeah, there's only one other option. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to say run because, you know. So yeah, he got to live here. He got to live here. Uh, run is the only option that huh, we know how. At. Come on, let you ain't fighting. You never. ain't fighting. Never. <laughs> Let's handle we this. Know, like, no, <laughs> we're not talking about this side over here. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Thank oh, you. I ain't fighting. I'm too old to be fighting. I'm out of there. We're but can you just so you know, when you are with us, okay, it makes us know, okay, we were a little bit more comfortable. Like, all right. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't gonna let nobody do nothing. We got K-Mart here with us. Pull up. Like, when I yeah. see you, I'm a... And I was like, um, NBA all yeah, so my first places. thing is try to defuse it. Like, I ain't gonna let nothing happen, <laughs> but if can't defuse it, then, yeah, yeah. we gonna... Meet me confused. at the celebrity game. Like, what? Meet me at adequately meet me secure at places. NBA all first of all, I'm gonna tell you, look, 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 I got these issues out here in these streets. We gonna go to... I'm gonna pretend to be tough. Just hold me back. Yeah. If you think, listen, if you think it's we out of trouble, just pull me the fuck out or give me, tap me twice. But I'm gonna just go ahead. I ain't gonna let them think I'm a punk, even though I'm a punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me get off a little bit. Man, you niggas 50. And then just go ahead and pull me out. Confident. Man, you niggas 50 years old. You niggas ain't fighting nobody. Shut up. <laughs> You got kids out here, man. I don't know. Yeah, I, niggas ain't fighting. No. And them niggas, Shane, and, got, and you got Shane security. Shane is a football player. He ain't got all the sense. If and, they really but wanted he got, to fight, they would have had this conversation privately. Like, no, but he called him out publicly, though, so he had yeah, to respond publicly. Yeah, calling him out, but if they was really trying to fight, I just, really I just, they would have figured I just got to tell, um, hey, listen. You have the line. When you come back, when, when you when you coming back, you, you, not, you can't say mofo. You have you like you gotta have a real cuss word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <God>. motherfucker! <laughs> like you gotta like playing with really, my name, yeah, motherfucker. You, gotta you really get out there. You remember Stephen A. Smith? Yeah. Like you really gotta you gotta he make it. Like like, like right Bernie Mac said, Shea God Shea rest his soul. Uh -huh. He gonna hey, be right in Club Shay Shay in a few weeks. Sometimes you gotta hey, it's a it's a, it's a word of endearment. Mm -hmm. You seen that motherfucking Bobby? <laughs> he owed me twenty motherfucking dollars. You got yeah, you gotta come on. He ain't gave me my money. <laughs> Motherfucking <laughs> money yet. As you know, inter entertainment similar to wrestling, <laughs> following yeah. WWE model Lexi, to your point, I can see uh, Mike up pulling up the club. Right in club, Shay Shay, drinking his little drink, spilling some more tea. <laughs> the Laporte, yeah. When they said, oh, he responded, I was like, okay. That mofo, like, come on, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, no, uh, uh, I know, I know, I know what you feel inside, but you got to let it outside to deter, <laughs> to deter, we got to deter these days. Yeah, that, it, just, I don't mean to take shots at the man, but that's like Monty Williams, like, I understand you don't, Cause. dude, you, I, Sometimes it just die, you, you, you motherfucker suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah you gotta <laughs> say it sometimes. Like sometimes you just gotta say <laughs> shit that day. <laughs> Excuse me, Lord. You gotta, this, like, like he apologized. Like uh -huh. Stephen A. said, like, I had to go to my pastor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to pray before. Listen, because you're not gonna recognize this person. Anyway. Yeah, go to yeah, and but. And the yeah. pastor's like, yeah, go get that. Yeah, go get that. Go get that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, see, you see the pastor say, go get that motherfucker. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to do it. Bless you, put a little holy water on your forehead. Dab you up. What? Yo, dab you up. <laughs> I'm saying? Yo, hey, all right, do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, put this in your pocket. <laughs> I'm saying? No, let's right. move on to our last segment of the day, Mostly Fans. Gil's favorite part of the show. <laughs> yeah, you do like Mostly Fans now. It's growing on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. As always, uh, you drop a question in the chat with your underdog fantasy username. We use I it want on the show. Ratchets in. I know there's a whole bunch of ratchet questions in there. We should we, go through and pick. We them. have been. Huh? You should go through and pick them. We have you know they're not gonna give me that type of power. You know they're not gonna show. give me that type of power. You can do what you want. It's your show. <laughs> we will always have the conversation with you beforehand to so let you know what the long-term ramifications are for each decision. <laughs> but ultimately, at the end of the day, if you want to do it, we do it, and we just live with the results. <laughs> hmm. Knowing that there's a lot of places that we cannot pull up now. They said, they said Uncle was looking at his. Uh, uh, he was thinking about his YouTube, man. His YouTube. He didn't want that strike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They strict over there. Yeah, he didn't want that strike. Oh, yeah, we got we to gotta return. Hold on, Hooper. I got a basketball question. Have you ever seen a situation during a game where two players get into it, they kick one of them out, the other players stay in, but they don't shoot no free throws? They both get technicals? No, no, nothing was called. I don't know. But they kicked one kid out, <laughs> and but the other kid got to stay in. They were on the ground doing whatever. Uh -huh. Kick one kid out, but didn't nobody shoot no free throws. Like it wasn't so one no technical. So it, they just so, ejected him. But no. uh, don't free throws come with that? With if you get right? it, if they give a tech and eject them, yeah. 
So you can just kick you out without what, no. what level throws? is this? High school. Yeah, high school, I feel like it's, it's, if they don't have a, a tech already, it should be four free throws, right? Yes, four. Yeah, you get tech, well, they didn't, tech, and then yeah, nothing. Tech, tech, two free throws, and the ball. So, yeah, the kid, it wasn't like... So he technically technically wasn't kicked out, so he yeah. could have came back in the game. Yeah, they told him, right. he, he went to the locker room, they told him he could sit on the bench. Yeah, so he wasn't kicked out. So what the fuck was it then? It's just crazy, right? High school. Just probably just, hey, just bring because it up. Because it's a school. rule out here, right? If you get ejected out of the game, you got to miss the next you game, gotta right? You got to sit out the... But I was in a basketball but tournament. He, that's what I said. He probably didn't get kicked out of the game. So what... Is, yeah, it's just weird. So yeah. they just, like, sit down. You're they just sit... Much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically sit <laughs> okay, down and your ass is doing too much, yeah. yeah. Bro, I was at a tournament a few months ago, seeing the kid swing on another kid. Mind you, cameras everywhere. But then he, like, hid with some of his other teammates. And the ref couldn't figure out which one he was. <laughs> And then and we was warming up, and he was looking at the uh, the highlight already on the, on the, the camera phone. I'm just like, all right, but nothing happened. Like I'm like, what? You need to get ejected. Like the ref just couldn't. It was, you know, yeah. and this was a you know the tournament, so the refs weren't the highest quality. But they just yeah. keep pumping. Like, wait a minute, somebody gonna get? Yeah, like, he I'm just stole on this kid. Like, <laughs> but hey, neither here nor there. Our first question is from underdog user Avo the Boy 08. I always got to read these names first to make sure nobody set me up. What hypothetical player is more dangerous, a 6'6 Iverson or a Shaq that can shoot? A, a Shaq that can shoot? A Shaq that can make free throws. A, yeah, just a, a Shaq, Shaq that, that can, can make, make free, free throws. throws. <laughs> more dangerous than a 6'6 Iverson. Because he's yeah. averaging 50. Yep. Yeah, because he's going to be making his free throw. Yeah. His Joel and yeah, we didn't even, hey, listen, like, if, We like, didn't even say shoot. We just uh, said just make free, free throws. throws. <laughs> right. If, <laughs> If he shot 75% from the free throw line, mm. we're not saying shoot 90, 75% from the free throw line, he's at 45 a night. Mm -hmm. That's insane. We, he can take the jumper out. We yeah. Just free throws. <laughs> just, <laughs> man, I, that, I didn't think yo, about it that way. Because I, I say it all the time, if Joel B was mean like Shaq. He would average yeah. 50 points. Like, like Shaq was mean, man. Yeah. Like, he's a mean basketball player. Mm -hmm. He bad intentions out there. <laughs> bad intentions. <laughs> bad intentions, he man. He was Mike Tyson. Yep. So just imagine him mm -hmm. being able to make free throws. Wow, yeah. <laughs> just AI, AI was going to be who he had six. Mm -hmm. He was going to take the same shots. He was going to... Mm -hmm. It didn't matter. Right? Yeah. It didn't matter. Yeah, I mean, he's just 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> he's, he's Tracy McGrady. <laughs> right, I'm just saying that that, that uh, scoring at alarming rate, high volume shoot, gonna take a lot of shots. Good, great. Mm -hmm. He would just have more highlight dunks. Yep. Because he can get by anybody. So, but yeah. As our producers pointed out, Shaq missed five thousand three hundred seventeen free throws in his career. That is so wild. And what? Yeah. What is that? Forty. What, what? What percentage is he shooting? That's five thousand points that he didn't get. <laughs> that he didn't get. For free. And hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa. That is just Pete. They was taking him out of the game at a certain point. Yeah, that, that's 5,000 that he took. We yeah, that he about took. That they didn't give him the ball at the end. They had to take the ball out of his hands. And the foul they didn't call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just imagine if it, just imagine, they, like, I heard you say the other day, just imagine, like, how many times Shaq get fouled, LeBron, Giannis, and dudes get so fouled bef before, before they before blow the whistle. whistle. Yeah. <laughs> like, what was his free throw percentage? I think oh. 52.7 for his career. For his mm. career. Damn. <laughs> Right? You got it up to 75. 75? Yes. Just imagine, like, that's Giannis. If Giannis shot 80% from the free throw line or something, like, it's yeah. fucking dangerous. Mm -hmm. 1,149 misses in the uh, playoffs as well. <laughs> Jesus. No. So how many did he, you said he missed 5,000? So missed 5,300 missed 5, total during his okay. career, but then in the playoffs he missed over 1,100. So he missed Damn. Damn, seven, six. 7,000 free throws. That's, that's why, yeah, that's when you really think about it like that. That's <laughs> so, huh? a lot of missed free throws. Oh, yeah. Because I, personally, I think he was shooting too, like, there was no way feasible Shaq should have been standing on the free throw line shooting. Too strong. Too strong. Too big, like, that's dude, that. he holds the, where the ball at? Give me that ball. <laughs> yeah, it was a moment. Demo time. Because I don't like the way they, this shit disgusting. <laughs> The man held the ball like this to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> what player ever held the ball like this uh -huh. to shoot? Bounce. Because he has to look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he's too strong. He, so imagine him back at top of the key, 
Ain't back to off. The, yes, Nick Van Exel shot the fucking halfway through it. Oh. Yeah, you, you, you have to shoot be. You have to be. Yeah, so from the free throw line to the top of the key. You can shoot anywhere. Absolutely. Yeah, anywhere in that line. Yeah, yeah, see, the motherfucker yeah. shoot to the left of it, to the yeah, right. Yeah. It don't matter. He should have backed his ass off that line. Nobody ever told him to do. Why is your big ass standing at this stationary position? Mm -hmm. With your fingertips. With the ball like. <laughs> You get that? We, we got to shoot a tennis. The average person, if you give us, we can shoot a tennis ball that way. You're not shooting a tennis ball. And that's, but that's a, and that's how you so. That was a tennis ball. Yeah, to that's him. a tennis ball to him. I, I know, Stephanus. I guarantee you, they tried to get him to do underhand, and he was not gonna have it. Yeah, probably. Hey, that, His ego was not gonna allow him to do underhand shots. Beautiful. That underhand. He should have backed crazy. off the line. That would have been. Yeah. <laughs> he should have. He would air. He would air balling them motherfuckers too. Yeah. How you got all that? <laughs> no, but just imagine if he backed off the line. He wouldn't have to shoot it. He could have probably shot a regular yeah, shot going... from the top of the key. I wonder if anybody even told him that. No. Hell no, because he stood on the line for fucking 16 years. Like, so Rick, Rick, on the line. Rick Barry tried to get Shaq to shoot underhand, and Shaq said, I'd oh. rather shoot 0% for my career. Oh, so he did? Oh. <laughs> I know, I like someone, like, it's only because the way I'd he rather, shot the ball. Never make another free I'm pretty throw sure ever someone again. just did this shoot that way. Been, this would have been easier for him. Because, you know, it's... Man, he would have to do that motherfucker like that. Yeah, just something like this. Just <laughs> Two hands. And that hip. probably would have just like him. Yeah, just look Think about it. You know how bad it looks just, so, just to look at it like, <laughs> look at Lord damn. And he was like, nah, you're not just going to be laughing at me like that. Yeah. Ego, baby. Goddamn, big fella. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. we, was, we was fouling people intentionally with shooting regular jump shots to get on the free throw line. So imagine he shooting that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, we're going to keep fouling you intentionally. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we fired, yeah, we, we fired Chuck Hayes. <laughs> that clip with Chuck Hayes that's out there? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, us, us in Denver? Chuck Hayes. Like, why you think he on the line by himself? When? The clip in Denver with Chuck Hayes is us, me, AI, all us. Mm -hmm. when he, the, the, oh, yeah, because the yeah, yeah. Why, he's on the line by himself. Mm -hmm. I intentionally fired, hacked the shit out of him so he can go shoot that bitch. <laughs> So we can get our fucking giggle on, dog. Giggle. Mean spirited, Cam. Oh, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> dog. If you look at we all oh, Chuck Turner, man, that's a travel. Yeah. That's a travel, like uh -huh. on the free throw line. Yeah, we all, man, y'all, y'all gotta call. That's a lane violation, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He the only person on the line. That's a lane violation. <laughs> Yo. So imagine you get up that motherfucker and you. Yeah. And big as hell. Oh, we gonna oh, do that again, big fella? Do that again. <laughs> if fellas ask again, we need some more giggles. Oh, definitely gonna find you. Get so, the next trip. Consensus is Shaq, you don't even need to be able to shoot, just be able to shoot free throws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same Shaq, but just some free throws. What are you doing, Gil? We, not, we have sleepy. more questions. He's sleepy. You got it more questions? A, yeah. yeah, this is a, a condensed show. Oh, okay. I, I thought you said that was sleepy. This is OnlyFans? This mostly is mostly fans. fans. We only got two more left. Oh, this is oh, OnlyFans. We, you know, we don't need to do all fans. three every time. You can do one. Gil, the people are committed. <laughs> I'm ready to. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, we can do one, goddamn it. You ain't got to do all three every time. Yo, I was out, I was out in that? Vegas for do one that? night. Do I was out in Vegas for one night. Um, the <laughs> amount of people that came up to me said what this show means to them, how it gets them through their day. So the least we could do. People we know you got your nap. Too from the show. Look at that, Lex, a superstar now. And hey, they've been picking on you a lot lately. Who? <laughs> you, you, and, you, and, you and Cheryl, y'all got enemies out oh, there. Oh, no, no, no. Cheryl, oh, that shit was funny. Cheryl poked the bear with the eyelids. Oh, that shit was funny. That shirt? Oh. Yeah, yeah, they got Don't the be whole... a Cheryl? Oh, yeah. That shit is all. Oh, I was like, Ooh. Nah, she poked the bear with that. I, we all just I get played along. against Iowa in college. The problem is, it's, like, it's not like she said anything wrong. She didn't say anything wrong. wrong. No, they just, just go hard for their players. Yeah, but it's, just, it's like, that's, they, fine. that's the only thing I like. I, I, you have to listen to what the person's saying to understand it. Exactly. Right? She's saying that when she comes to the NBA, she's not going to play like that. Because the other WNBA girls is not going to want someone coming in shooting all the shots because they got money and they're trying to do this. That's, That's why she's not, she didn't say she's not going to do that because she's sorry. Yeah. I know she didn't say that. She it's said it's going to be a transition. She like, said because of the other players on the team was not going to allow her to do that. Not be. It's like they, That's what's wrong with. Like Stippets of fucking conversations. Yeah. It, but it is nice that Gil's Arena is being watched in Iowa City, hopefully at the local hy as they're going through shopping, getting their groceries. It's like, you don't want to be Cheryl? 
That's what it said? Yeah, don't, don't be a Cheryl. Don't be a Cheryl. Don't, 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 don't be a Hall of Famer. Don't, uh, be, <laughs> don't be the greatest women's basketball player. Yeah, don't be yeah. a Hall of yeah. Famer. <laughs> okay. Like, I legitimately. Cool. All right. When we have Cheryl on the show, I get tired having to read all the accomplishments because it's just it's lines so and lines much. and lines. And I have to read all of them because yeah. there's all too much good mm -hmm. shit. Well, they, the goat. Come on. Hey, they do it when they introduce boxers. <laughs> they ain't won in 12 years. Two-time division, <laughs> three-time division, four-time div like, goddamn. 1957, like, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Right, let's move on to our second question from underdog user JDK23. Who was the funniest NBA, Lexi, for you, WNBA player that you played with or played against? Funniest? Um, Sydney Colson. Sid is? That's a funny girl. Yeah, we, didn't, we don't play together in the W, but we play together in the Athletes Unlimited uh, League, which starts next week. Okay, but. turn up. Yay! Let's go play basketball. Sid, incredibly funny face of the WNBA. Yeah, the face. Shout out to Sid and TP. Yeah, the face. Check out their show. Yeah. Uh, can y'all go to you? Who's the funniest NBA player that you played with or against? Probably Chucky Atkins. And what made Chucky so funny? Him. <laughs> <laughs> his fucking scenes and energy and personality. And just, yeah. Like, you need Chucky Atkins on your team. Like, he gonna front. Oh, don't let you be getting cooked on the other team. Oh, you, gonna, <laughs> you gonna hate Chucky Atkins. Mm -hmm. But nah, Chucky. We just yeah. talking the whole time. I mean, we're oh, talking the whole time. But he's he encouraging us, but, but yeah, he, yeah, he's funny. AI funny too, quietly. Chuck funny, but yeah, Chucky Atkins is. And what makes AI funny? Just, just constant, <laughs> constant, just jokes all the time. Like there's no, it's not a dull moment. Like I only imagine. In our <laughs> private times, <laughs> there's not a, <laughs> it's not a dull moment. It's always curious. You see how guys carry themselves in the media, obviously on the court, but then once you get on the bus, the plane, where nobody's around. Yeah, like he, like he can imitate any voice. Like, he can, Chuck? Yeah. Mm. He can sing. Like, he can draw. <laughs> like, it's like, like, it's like, this motherfucker's great. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, he, uh, him imitating um, different people and voices, coaching staff, and, oh, it's, it's listen, yo. So, Gil, uh, who's the funniest NBA player you play with? Or Jackie you? Atkins. You concur? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth. <laughs> oh, Kenneth. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> no stories, Gil, we good? No, get ready to take his nap. All right, get ready to take <laughs> his nap. Chucky Atkins got that <laughs> nap time. Gil was ready for his Gil, nap. No, you know, no, 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 no. But I'm going to save you because you know you can break off into a 45-minute story about time. No, that's what I'm saying. That'll keep us all enthralled. But uh, we'll go to our last <laughs> question. This person does not have an underdog fantasy uh, user account, unfortunately, which means they're missing out on a free $50 bonus. Everybody else out there, if you don't have one as well, make sure you download Underdog Fantasy. Use promo code GILD. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. All right. What's the dumbest or craziest investment opportunity that a friend or family member tried to get you to fund? Keyword friend or family member. Don't That's, have, it, it don't hurts have one of those stories yet. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi, you know, you know that you do a Gilbert Arenas. <laughs> yep, okay. I already know. Okay. I'm just making no, I'm, I'm just laughing because obviously y'all should have known that question was going. It's going to get us I mean, to giggling just, and sniffing. No, no, let me, but let me tell you, I do get asked to invest in things. They're just not dumb. I just don't. They're just not, they're, they're, oh, they're good? Yeah. I invest in things. I just never no. had anybody, a friend or a family because my no, family's... No rap, no, my no future female rap. Mm -hmm. No. Studio time. No studio time. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. got that. You know what type of circle I'm around? Like, my, you don't got no my cousins family's that. straight. Like, mm -hmm. we could. You don't got no cousins that. I could ask my dad. I could probably bring you a bunch of stories about it. Yeah, I could say you got no cousins. You, no. But no, all my cousins. I'm the oldest in the no family. Holding line. You ain't got no I'm friend. the oldest. Everyone's still like 22 years old. My siblings and my cousins. They're all babies. You, there's no college. dumb people in your family? No. No. Nah. Nope. No dumb friends? No. They're out of here. Oh, you done already, oh, you done already, yeah, you done already cut it. Yeah. yeah. Dumb friends gotta go. 
got to Can go. Can you have a, a dumbest or craziest investment opportunity that a friend or family member try to get you to fund? Oh, it's that record, that rap shit. <laughs> that rap shit. That's what I said. Got no, the, I that's the typical. That's the, that's the first one. Hey, Lexi, I'm a rapper. They call me. No, no. Mm -mm. But that dude who I was right, he could actually fucking rap, actually, but it was just. Nigga, I can't even get you to pull your pants up, nigga. You think, <laughs> you think I'm finna put some money behind you, nigga? I tell you, I'm tired of seeing your, your drawers, nigga. And, <laughs> like, coming around my house, around the house, and my mom in the house, nigga, you got your drawers showing, nigga. You think I'm. Pants on the ground? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, you, no. So, <laughs> that's. So I guess I got the yeah. stupid friends out there, huh? Yeah, no, nah, it's, nah, it's some stupid niggas. Like, they just knew I wasn't going for the bullshit, that's all. <laughs> yeah, you... Mm. What'd that say about you? <clears throat> Million dollars <laughs> for stickers. <laughs> <laughs> Car stickers. You know how, like, they Bumper were just... stickers? No, Bumper car. stickers? Okay, so, like... <laughs> You know how like we have raps now? Yeah. You know like there was like back in the day they had like like just stickers itself. Just mm -hmm. before the whole rap, it was just the sticker itself. Like mm -hmm. so, in, invested in stickers for football fans. So like the Eagle fans can have the Eagle, you know Terrell Owens logos. And so they wanted you to create fat heads. Like fat heads. On yeah. Fat heads for That's cars. That's what it was. Fat head for the car. <laughs> what they need, I'm gonna be real. For? I don't know. That that could have that could have really done something. Hold on, no. no what do they need is, a million dollars? No, the next question is, did you do it? Hell no, nah, I changed oh. my number. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> were Wait, fatheads already that, out? What did they? How did they I don't present know what it, it to you? Huh? How did they present oh, it to you? Shit. They just like, you know, like you, they should you? send me your cup. Like, damn, oh, that's fire! What is that? I was like, oh, these, you know, stickers, man. This could be a nice little investment, right? Give a million dollars up, you know, boom, boom, boom. Because you know, like, think about the Cowboys and you with the Redskins and Lakers. I'm here, like. Stickers though? <laughs> like, like big, you need a million dollars. How much is a sticker? Yeah, I think <laughs> like, that nigga, like it like it like, like you know slow what? walk you know, to at least. Like, like you know what? I, this is not what I want right now. That's not what I need. But them niggas thought they saw a sucker, nigga. They were trying to lick you, nigga. Dollars. That was <laughs> just, just. They didn't want to slow walk you or nothing. You know what? Mm. Hey man, I got this great idea. It's gonna cost you a hundred thousand. Like, <laughs> like you ain't slow. Bro, you ain't slow yeah, you ain't slow walking, and you know what? Hey, motherfucking six months later, hey, hey, hey I'm going to need another 250 on that. Like, that's, that we was going to cost a little. Yeah. Them niggas just came right out the gate. One nigga, million. One <laughs> million dollars. <laughs> I got to think of it like, you're like, wait, st wait, what? Like, stickers? Just like, the idea is just like I was seeing it, but the price didn't match the... the oh, not, not at all. Don't have stickers. Nigga, the whole world about to have. <laughs> mm, you trying, yeah. Stickers, ladies and gentlemen. Spike he was trying car. to buy the factory. Yeah, the car, sticker. What? Bro. He wanted the land and the factory that they was putting them bitches in yeah. for a million? For a million dollars. Yeah, you, you get the real estate. Yeah. And better come with a liquor license <laughs> and a few other things. Wow, <laughs> Change my is insane. Uh, another spirit of day on Gills <laughs> Arena. Thankful that the NFL season is over, football's done. You can rock out with us. We're going to have basketball coverage for, throughout the rest of the season, through the summertime. All the way through the next year. So shout out Underdog Fantasy, Lexi. Shout out to yourself for pulling up. We had a great time out there. Jeez. Rams. Shout out. Rams 2025. Our latest Rams fan, our newest and, and truest Rams fan, Gilbert. You know Arena. what? Wait, is that the same color as UC, yeah, you see? You see Yeah, I think I might join. Hey, Sheed, I might join the Rasheed Wallace there. bandwagon. Oh, yeah. You went to the rim, you hey, Sheed, I need a new team, dog. I'm going to have to jump on the Kansas City bandwagon, dog. That's but full. We appreciate y'all rocking out with Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. What, what? We will see y'all tomorrow.